and just just to see him play basketball again, man. I am so excited. Um, just like like uh, GMAC tweeted, where one of the Infinity Stones, man, <laughs> one of the Infinity Stones is back, and we are just slowly but surely this team is starting to build and and get back into full strength. We've never seen this team at full strength. We haven't seen the entire team healthy pretty much since the beginning of the season. Since Mitchell Robinson went down, we've been like a motley crew almost of just excellent basketball players led by Jalen Brunson. Um, Yeah, just like Jess is saying, he's not just an awesome defensive player, but he just seems like a great guy. Mitchell Robinson at some point, like when he not even like maybe not even when he's done playing basketball, but he should have like like an actual like reality show or like a pot like a live like something that we can like just know more about Mitchell Robinson and like his dogs or something. I think that would be really fun. I cannot wait. And this this guy, Dante DiVincenzo, man. What what else can you say? What else is there to say about how great he's been? Just look at the shooting. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's the Pistons, but who cares? 11 threes is 11 threes. Waiting for my co-host to join me tonight. I mean, honestly, tonight, this is a great game for Mitchell Robinson to come back because the Toronto Raptors are not healthy at all. RJ's not playing. Um, Emmanuel quickly isn't playing. Um, I don't know if I've said this officially, but definitely thoughts, prayers, and condolences to Emmanuel quickly, who lost, I think, an uncle to a long um, a long battle with uh, cancer. Very sad to hear that. Once a Nick, always a Nick. And just because you just don't want to hear stuff like that in general. So um, thoughts and prayers out to Emmanuel quickly, but he is not playing tonight. Scotty Barnes is not playing tonight. Yaka Pertle isn't playing tonight. So it's really just the Mitchell Robinson party because there's no way that um, number one for Toronto is going to stop anything Mitchell Robinson is going on. Yeah, um, I'm going to avoid I'm going to resist the urge to to make puns tonight because <laughs> whenever the Raptors are playing, their most recent draft pick is just pun central. Light up the north. That's the one thing about League Pass that's always weird to me is that you can be watching the away broadcast and then you end up getting the home teams in arena entertainment is like i don't care about light up the north what up man hey gmac how we doing man how we doing you're out oh. company right before uh, uh, stragglers oh uh, your mic's a little um that's one two that's one two yeah still still kind of like in and out there Test one, two, test one, two. There you go. All right. Yeah, the underwater effect. Um, figure I'll come keep you company while uh, we get things started, while we wait for XJ and we wait for, for Benji to show up. So, yeah, that's cool. I'm, I'm cool. happy. I'm happy to, to, to be kept to be kept company. That's nice. Um, it was great seeing you on Saturday. Yeah, that was it was awesome. It was good. I was glad you were able to make it to the, to the watch party. Um, it was pouring but luckily for me i drive to work on weekends so i was able, and i was able to get a parking spot right on the corner speaking so of was, boring that's uh our baseball plans tomorrow have been washed away but yeah we're not here to talk about that we're talking about basketball before busy gets upset yeah <laughs> um they should win this game as easily as they did the pistons game now yeah I'm, I'm gonna be shocked if we win by less than 20 points they have nobody so the irony that I'm about to talk about a, a, a point spread with Jonte Porter's team on the, <laughs> on the screen, but Sean was saying that the Knicks being 13 and a half point favorites on the road doesn't hit the smell test. And I was like, cause they should, it should be more like, 
The Raptors don't have players. They're they're in. They've they got already subscribed to LA Fitness. They started their membership. Like, yeah, m- about two weeks ago. You know, there's they have nobody. I'm not worried about um Grady Dick and the Dickettes. Like it's just <laughs> Dick. that that's just who they are right now. They um yeah, like Dirty Dance was saying, they're beyond they're beyond tanking. They are trying to get that top six seed, um top six pick. And that's a dumb, okay. I'm gonna leave that one alone. B, BKG, thank you for the comment. Uh, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna leave that one alone. Uh, <laughs> I'll say it because it showed up on the screen. Ben Kim Garvey, Mensa don't know Dick. Fair enough. I yeah. guess. I Grady guess I Dick. do not. Yeah, we're not aware of Grady Dick's game. We haven't watched a ton of him this year. Uh, yeah, I, I told myself I was going to avoid the Grady Dick puns, and there's one. <laughs> Right there that I don't want to. I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to leave. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to leave it alone. Because <laughs> once I once I open that, once I open Pandora's box, it's just going to be all night. And I'm not. So, as far as matchups are concerned tonight, like, you think they put Josh Hart on him? Do you think they put Hart on Dick? <laughs> you talking about Dick? Yeah, we're talking about Dick. Grady Dick. I figured it was that dick. I hoped it was that dick. Yes, it was that I dick. Just, your uh, your mic's I, not connected, actually. Oh, okay. You're good. There we go. Uh, I just hope Dick doesn't there go on go. fire today. That's all. That dick doesn't what? We just don't want Dick on fire today. That's all. Yes, we don't want Dick on fire. You never want Dick on fire. <laughs> no, <sounds laughs> that painful. boy can shoot, man. You don't that, want him on fire for real. Yes. Once you you dick going, it really shoots. Yeah, uh, he really shoots. <laughs> What? It. He is not an <laughs> it, sir. Ben Kim Curvy. <laughs> okay. Dick is Bench. dangerous from deep. Oh Just got to keep Dick out the corner pocket tonight. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's nasty from the corner. He is. Just outright nasty from the corner, for real. Oh, my gosh. I thought I listen, I told yeah. myself I wasn't gonna do the Grady. And here play. we are. And, and the game has are. not even started. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> oh man. The Orlando, the Orlando photo with Anthony Black. Like, <laughs> if you're gonna be immature, you have to go full immature and go get Jalen Suggs. Like you just yeah. you, you just have to in that in that That's case, funny. guys. I think that that would have been a little. Uh, I don't know. The other one was blatant too, so it was pretty blatant both <laughs> ways. I I wanted it to become like a tour. Like yeah, he, like, has, to, he has to take a picture with Derek White. He has to take a picture <laughs> of Bruce Brown. You know, Nazir Little, Kevin Love. Like, <laughs> like, but wait, how, wait, who who's on what side? Like who's on the left and who's on the right? right well, good good point. <laughs> you know. Wait, Dick Love? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just gotta say it out loud for a second, just to mm-hmm. see what we're talking about here. Yes. I mean, who does Toronto have? I, I mean, they don't have anybody. I don't even think Bruce Brown's good. playing. Jeez, man! You know they want their pick. They're not playing around. They're they're getting their pick. They're not they're not messing around whatsoever. Which is kind of strange because this draft isn't really like, from what I understand, it doesn't really get the juices flowing. That's where I'm confused, too, because I was told earlier in the year by S that they wanted the pick to convert. So that way to convey because they didn't want like because it's a weak draft and they'd like to have all the pick things they owe out the way. Like this is a weak year. Go ahead, San Antonio. Have a top seven pick. Oh, and, and now they're officially in LA fitness mode. Well, yeah, I, I thought they were operating like they wanted the pick right now. Well, they are now, but I think <laughs> when they made the trade, one mm. of the concessions that I was told is that they don't necessarily want the to keep their pick this year yeah. because of the. Like, that's why they weren't like, give us all the picks for Ananobi. It's like, no, we'll take two productive rotation players. I see. You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Now, the sky kind of fell on them. It kind of fell. Yes. <laughs> it really did. A little like, bit. It fully fell. Yes. So <laughs> Barnes getting hurt. What happened to RJ and Quick? Crazy. I, I was, I'm so surprised that they didn't make it back for this game, though. And we have tip-off. <laughs> All right. Yes, I heard it too. We're Brady Dick on the floor. We have tip off. 
Uh, and we got right, a blitz so early blitzing. on. Yeah, team, that's the only way to uh, Okay, oh my Deuce. God, dude. <laughs> Deuce. Broken play because of a bad pass, and Deuce still hits it. Crazy. Wow. Man, this Deuce McBride guy. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> They have Brunson at the point of attack. It really doesn't matter, actually. This is the first team where Brunson can guard anyone, any ball handler. <laughs> He's just matter. like, yeah, I'll take him. Yeah. <laughs> We're good. That's pretty wild. Oh, uh, is Benji coming on? Or yeah. Is he... oh, yeah, he's waiting for Benji. I'm I'm keeping you guys company until we get the full panel here. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, he just said in the chat that he's having some technical difficulties. Oh, okay, okay. No, I missed it. Oh, I, I see him right here. There you go. He's not invited to invited to some kind of wedding, apparently. Oh, that's his. That's a. He set that tagline when he was. Okay, Benji, you end up going to my wedding. So, yes, you were invited to the wedding. <laughs> and one. Hey, oh, Isaiah Hartenstein. I'm getting trivia ready. How many. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta see. All right, Hardenstein's only missed six games. So is Hardenstein gonna be in on all defense? I I would have to imagine. I would think so. I think the John made a good point in the newsletter that the voter typically votes for somebody different. Like mm. it's usually like Gobert's gonna get votes. Uh, Anthony Davis is gonna get votes, and if they stick to positionless. He's got a shot, but yeah, I don't know. I I'm hoping that the narrative starts to form that he can he can that he should be on an all defense team. I mean, 72 games into the season, you know, it's kind of late for a narrative. Mm. Especially but now is when they start to form, though, while these people that have votes start to go out and be like, this would be my team. Well, this would be my team, you know? Yeah, I mean, I, I hope he gets it because he deserves it very clearly. And there's Benji. Deuce again. Bang! He Deuce cashes McBride. it again. Deuce. Did I, Deuce did I hear a circumcision you. joke? <laughs> you read a circumcision <laughs> joke. <laughs> you read one. <laughs> and on that my, note, I'll let you that's guys like my see. That's like my bat signal. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow your, your computer issues just resolved themselves and you appeared. It was it was unbelievable. <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> Deuce McBride can shoot, huh? Yeah. Apparently, oh, well, he, he sees these guys. He remembers them from the G League, so he's having no issues. Yeah, he's not. He's not a... <laughs> There's your corner pocket. I have there never seen go. him miss a left corner three. I, I, I have not seen one yet. Well, There's true. Grady Dick from the left corner. Why Why even get a pick and roll with these guys? Why not just attack these guys in ISO? Bang, bang. Oh, oh my bro. gosh. Deuce. The Deuce McBride game. Deuce is on Man. fire. Dude, so here's the thing, right? And, and and you know you have Mitch back. We're gonna see him hopefully. Blitzing Brunson when you have shooting and Hartenstein is not really viable. Can't do it. Is not viable. So now what do you do? If you can't you, blitz Brunson, what do you do? You hope they put Precious in for Deuce. Yeah. <laughs> like, or or have Julius Randall back. Yeah. Well, don't well, get me started, Benji. It's way too early in the proceedings. No, no, no. But I, I think there are ways to, there are ways to counter it. But I think you will see with teams will blitz and they'll help off Julius, mm -hmm. and either he's going to have to make threes or he's going to have to drive closeouts effectively. I'm not saying they can't be effective that way, but this is like if Deuce is shooting like this, and obviously what DiVincenzo has done all season, it's mm -hmm. not viable at all to blitz on a Hardenstein Brunson PNR. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, go and ahead, the, the other thing about it is, who's gonna be who's Julius gonna be replacing? It's gonna be Josh Hart, who already can't hit threes. So you're talking about an upgrade in Julius Randle from three pointer, and just being a much better offensive player than Josh Hart is. So it's really gonna be scary hours when Julius Randle gets back with the way Hartenstein is playing and the way Deuce and DiVincenzo are shooting. And if the Pistons give us anything in terms of shooting, then it's just you're talking about a team that is going to be really, really hard to stop getting um, getting as healthy as we are getting going into the playoffs. It's just I'm really looking forward to seeing this team. Amen. That was the vision. That was the vision with getting these Pistons in here, just more spacing. I mean, that's what they provide. So I mean, I was Theor thinking that Benji, Benji, when they played um Sacramento and um they started blitzing and I'm just like, they're willing to set to like 
allow a four on three on the back end. Like they've you you won already. Like you got it. Like if they're if they're that willing to blitz, and it was high blitz. I feel like for a lot of them, borderline like trapping near the baseline, and Brunson gives it up early, and it's like that's instant offense. They're just like giving you offense. I feel like I don't know if that's oh. it, maybe it's not that simple, but that's what it feels like to me. It is. I mean, it is simple. I you know I think there are teams that are you know obviously this Raptors you know, D squad is not really going to be capable of blitzing and recovering. Well, I, like you saw, I mean, Denver doesn't quite blitz, but they're, you know, Jokic is pretty high at the level and they did. And, and, and while the Knicks did a good job for the most part of hitting the pocket and then playing out of that, the nuggets, what they do so well defensively is the guys behind in Porter and mm-hmm. Gordon can recover even mm-hmm. in four on three situations and close those gaps. Yeah. So that now you have guys taking somewhat contested shots and Brunson's not that involved. Right. So it's right. There are ways to negate it. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. OG's getting a nice ovation. That's cool. It was a really nice montage and everything. I'm like, wow, this is great. This is really. He gets great. a hug from a super fan. Yeah, yes. I forget his name. Super Watch fan. <laughs> I, I read. I like. I read his story. Like he, I think, emigrated from I think India and and started his own car dealership. And he's been like a fan of the Raptors since they opened because he like since they started in '99 or whenever they started. That's dope. What's up, Jessica? You're right. I, lo- I, I low key, I love Toronto. Toronto is like one of my favorite beautiful, cities in the world. Beautiful city. Oh, yeah, is it beautiful? Awesome. Hey, I'll take that. D cell master. Seriously. It was so weird. JJ Reddick was on the uh, Andrew Schultz podcast. I don't know if either of you ever watched that, but um, uh, it's called Flagrant. And he was just talking about oh wow wow what a block yeah gary trent's gonna have like 40. yeah did you watch that gmac so he was just talking about like how deceleration is like the new like hot skill set to <laughs> in the nba with like some of the best guys luca obviously brunson are like decel masters to shea yeah exactly yeah shea oh. is playing <laughs> like Almost Ooh, underneath. Pass. Beautiful, beautiful basketball, man. They're so yeah. spread out now. Yep. Deuce for as Clyde precious. mentions. What a you know what's funny? It's almost like Tibbs thinks he thought of Deuce McBride as the starter when everybody <laughs> wanted it because <laughs> though because no like really because now Deuce doesn't come off the floor. Deuce was behind Precious Achua. Off coming off the bench, and then he realized, hey, this actually works. And now Deuce McBride's getting 47, 48, 48, 41. Like unreal minute minute count. And it's just, <laughs> it's funny this because he did the same thing with Isaiah Hartenstein. Isaiah Hartenstein was not the starter behind Jericho Sims. And then for the month of January, oh, you're right. 37, 38, that. 39. It's like, <laughs> bro, you didn't invent this. Like, you don't have to put it down our throat so bad. Like you can you can relax, but I don't that's know. It's, I think that's an interesting. Like when Tibbs figures something out, it's like he really figures it out. There he really goes. figures it out. That's funny. No, so you know what I, I uh Oof. tough. Nice. Oh serious. That was like a Devin Booker. Um no two buckets look the same, Jalen Brunson. What I was thinking about and that's a deep three from Dick. Yeah, he, like if they want to blow him out like out of the water, then just run that guy off the line. No threes. Please. Zero threes, sir. Him and Trent. I mean, that's where yep. their scoring is going to come from. That's it. Uh, oh, I was saying that. I felt like actually Tibbs moved to going to the small lineup. As no, Deuce gets an open three. Uh, um, His move to the small lineup actually like justified the Precious at the four lineup to me because, yeah, <clears throat> they're just going to start shooting threes. I mean, this is what yeah. they have to do. They need the high the variance. Way. Like, that's the only chance. That's their only chance. So can we just push them off the line like Benji said? Oh, what a pass! I mean, their blitzing defense is is absolutely horrific. Oh my goodness! Yo, they're making Jalen like oh six Steve Nash. Oh, that's hey, what is that? He just moved him out the way. That was unfortunate. What was that? Was that just like the incidental that he? Yeah, he exactly. That's what they're, yeah, so Grady was just kind of, Jesus. There we go. Wow. But I've never seen this many open shots in my entire, I'm not even kidding. This is practice. 
<laughs> but yeah, yeah you would think this is OKC. So with, you like, can't shoot the gap there. It's a yeah. poor job by Devo. Lucky he missed. He X, shot you, you were saying um about. Oh, it, the pace is just so frenetic. I didn't, I, I didn't feel like there was yeah, a gap to finish what I was saying. <laughs> um, uh, I, the, I was saying that the pressures at the four lineup, I felt like was justified by Tibbs' willingness to move to the small lineup. Ooh. So basically, I felt like, obviously knowing Tibbs, damn. Oh, he's in a lot of pain, man. He's, he's in a lot, lot of pain. Tailbone or hip? Yeah, he came down on his hip. I think it's his no, arm. He didn't break his fall at all. Uh, it looked like he was holding ooh. his arm. That's dangerous. Ah, uh, you hate to see that, man. Ah, oh, and he bounced off of it. Yikes! Yikes! I don't. That was tough. Yeah, that's that's just Deuce going for the ball. Like I don't 100%. think that's a, a dirty player or anything. Yeah, he's in pain, man. Jeez, he's like writhing. Oh man, 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 man. Probably man. to shock. I don't know if anything's broken. Yeah, yeah, great point. Dan just a dangerous pass there. It was a dangerous pass, yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Um, all right. Well, we got timeout. So I could uh, yeah, on that play, <laughs> on that play there, what I was gonna say is uh mm -hmm. Grady was just kind of cutting through and Brunson was trying to get through to help. It was totally inadvertent. But you actually could call that a, you could call that a moving screen. You're not really I mean, like you, you gotta be you gotta be set there. But they probably just ruled it was inadvertent. Sure. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, actually get to your larger point that you were waiting on. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And and just real quick, uh, you know, Knicks up 23-15 in the first quarter. Seven minutes left in the first quarter. Uh, Knicks not having too much trouble with the Raptors, just leaving shooters open. That's kind of the only way that the Raptors have, have any offense going right now. Um, what I was saying about my point was I felt like Tibbs moving to the small lineup was the thing that justified the pressures at the four lineup to me. And what I mean by that is that I, you know, knowing Tibbs, he wants to win every game. He's going to do whatever he, he, it takes to win every game. I'm assuming he felt like that gave them the best chance. He felt like he probably had a bunch of bad options. I'm going to go with Boyan at the four. I'm going to get exposed in a way. I'm going to go with Precious at the four. I'm going to get exposed in a way. So I'm going to go with the thing that I think is going to work the most. And as soon as it was like sniffed out and like figured out by Philly, I feel like the Philly game was the was the the turning point. It was just like this is not viable anymore. That you know teams are just going to leave Precious wide open. He immediately switched away from it while OG came back. And then when OG went out, he switched away from it and hasn't gone back to it. So to me, it feels like the fact that, wow, this is bad. Oh, my gosh. Agbaji, for, for those just listening, Agbaji is getting helped off the court um, with, with some kind of right leg injury. Could be his hip, could be his, uh, I don't know what other <laughs> body part it could be, um, being helped off the court. And can't put any weight on it right now. So hopefully he's all right. Yeah, you hate um, to see that. Yeah. And yeah, what is Scotty Barnes wearing, by the way? But anyway. And um, yeah, no, and I, th I, you know, I was critical of tips at times with that lineup. I <laughs> wait, thought wait, Golden wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what you, you, see what I, Barnes you see what I'm saying, Mensa? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> Look at Scotty Barnes. <laughs> Where is he? What is he wearing? I didn't see it. What was it? He had like these mauve leather um, <laughs> bell bottom pants on. And I'm just like, wait, 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 wait. Mental's like, stop that? everything. Let's, let's hang That's on a second. Terrible. Man, I, was, I was really getting deep in my bag there about to break <laughs> I'm up so sorry. No, because XJ was like, what's Scotty Barge wearing? And I said, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> because I, okay, so I have. Look at, Hart like, look at Hartenstein's reaction to this, by the way, if they catch it. I saw it on the last angle. Ooh. I didn't show it here. He like he was like, oh no, that was tough, man. This team is cursed this year. Holy cow, they cursed one bad thing after another. Really, on bad. and off the court. Sorry, Benji. Uh, uh, keep going with your point. Yeah, I'll get there. Just uh, we'll watch for a little bit here. Watch this. Oh, it's a Olenek great, great the move. Finish. He's such a clever player, Olenek. He's the way underrated, he man. The way he stampeded that catch, like it went right away. Yep. With the stampede like that, you have to anticipate how the defense is going to play you before you catch yep. the ball. So you're reading while the ball's in flight traveling to you, correct? Yep. Yep, exactly. And it makes yep. you faster. It's like a guy like Olenek all of a sudden is fast because yeah. he's closing while the guy's going the other direction. That's, That's a good sick. job. But nice. he can't. But the one thing Olenek can't do is keep guys like Hardenstein off the glass. <laughs> yeah, the, that's the center Did you guys see how, easy, how easy that was for Hardenstein? That's crazy. Just, a preview of what Mitchell Robinson is getting ready to do for the rest of the season yeah. <laughs> against backup big backup oh fives. Yeah. They have they have no chance. 
It's a great defense. Ah, uh, Jalen lost him. Brunson. Don't lose focus. <clears throat> we got to get these guys out of here early, man. Yeah, the, defense has been, the defense has been poor. I mean, the offense has been easy, but maybe too easy. Now he's in drop. Oh, wow, he barely settled. Oh, that. oh. what kind of shot was that? He put it up quick. He's got the ability to do that, which is very, very, very valuable. For sure. Kind of vary, his, vary his release and the length of Ooh. his release. What what was it, Benny? Because it, it, he didn't no dip it. It looked like he did dip. He just didn't jump. He just kind of yeah. like set shot it. Yeah, I think it was the way he caught it kind of fading. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Get him in the also, dunk contest. He also jumps very high. Here he is. Oh, hey, yes, sir. A big Mitch sighting. Two, three back. Let's go. Yo, that is so good to see this man back. How cool is this? That's awesome. We are Beast. back. Look at Let's how much go, bigger Mitch. than... Oh, he's Holy been in the weight room. Yeah, look at how much bigger up. he is than 16. Look at this. Here we go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, you oh. got to look for Mitch there. Wow. Look, here he Mitch, goes. Mitch said, I'll get it board. myself. <laughs> he got held anyway. Hey, you don't got to look for Mitch. Mitch will go get way. it if he wants it. Don't worry about that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just miss. I'll, I'll come down with it. <laughs> yeah, let me go get yeah, that. Mitch don't worry. does look kind of swole. <laughs> yeah, compared to... I mean, the guy guarding him is like 6'2", so... Oh, <laughs> Who is that? Didn't even make tell another is. one. Let's Jeez. go, dudes. There it is. Dude, he's going to break Dante's record. He has five <laughs> threes. No, for real. He has five. And you know Easily. he's going to stay in the game. And the looks he's getting? He's going to play 44 minutes tonight. He has all the opportunity. See, that's a smart. Yeah. See, that's leaving well, the strong is, side corner when you have a non-willing shooter. I love it, Benji. I love it. I'm glad you pointed that out. And that's what that's we would have happened if we got Bruce Brown, too. <laughs> too easy. Hey! He's so right hand. Holy too mother. easy. It's way too easy, Whoa. man. This is this is ridiculous. The line nobody, was 13 and a half. Nobody a thinks rebound to offense faster than Josh Hart. Yep. He's already thinking offense when he rebounds the basketball. So Absolutely. Like Wes Unseld. All right, hold on. In like prime um prime Kevin Love. But he can push it. So he's not just him throwing it up the court, also he can get it and go. So yeah. he has both options, which, you know. He has the Kevin Love. He has the prime Kevin Love and the prime Russell Westbrook. It's, yep. it's crazy. Interesting that those two guys went to UCLA, and he's a Villanova guy, which is the other side of the country. Just a smart basketball player, Josh Hart. Really appreciate him, even if the offense isn't even close to what it needs to be. For sure. And and to me, a big part of their second unit offense before Mitch came back, I mean, even now, is always going to be Josh Hart pushing off of rebounds. Like, let's not bog it down and get caught in half court where, you know, on some possessions, the ball doesn't cross the three-point line <laughs> for, for the entirety of the possession. Like, yeah. get it and sprint it up the court, Josh. Like, I would tell him to run every time. So, I mean, Josh Hart, the, I think the dynamic between Josh Hart and Mitchell Robinson is going to be a lot like the mid 2000s Ravens where Ray Lewis made all like the tackles, but Bart Scott was the one getting in the hole and creating that lane for Ray Lewis to jump up. So it's like in this analogy, Mitchell Robinson is Bart Scott. He's going to do all the boxing out. He's going to make all the plays happen. And then Josh Hart's going to be the, the Ray Lewis grab that ball and just push, push, push kind of the same way Ray Lewis would get 160 tackles. Josh Hart, <laughs> you can expect him to get so many more rebounds with a guy like Mitchell Robinson on the court. By the way, how many rebounds are they going to get with Mitchell Robinson and Precious Achua on the, on the court? Yeah, once the other team misses, it's just like 100%. Wow, they the got defense. Precious. This, this is our all-shooting lineup right here, boys. <laughs> yeah, Precious <laughs> Hart and Mitchell Robinson. Oh, oh now, 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 now the blitz is working. That's right. Yeah, they put longer guys on them. There we go, Mitch. Ah! Oh, that could have been called a goaltend, I thought. Yeah. I thought he got his hands on the rim before it went in. Mitch is back, boys. Mitch with his first bucket. Look at that drop D. Best player in the league. That is their only There were some games, I think, two years ago where Gary Trent killed us. Yeah. I do recall this. He can light it up. He can. He's the type of player that kills the Knicks. The type, right? Yeah, it's just like yeah. that bench, kind of guy. Uh, bench shooting guard. <laughs> yeah, look where Bruce Brown's playing. Presh. Yep. 
That's good ball. Oh, he missed Deuce, and then he took a fadeaway jumper. Oh, no. Oh, man, but there oh, it is. Oh, Mitch I mean, well, it. He got the rebound. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. He had an easy swing to Deuce for a 6-3 of the quarter. He did. Look at that. No more. They haven't gotten a rebound yet, have they? The I mean, look, at the, look at the size the Raptors. of the Raptors. I mean, they're like a they're like a bunch of string beans. It's like a JV game. <laughs> yeah, it really does look like big bank take little bank on the court. They're yeah, not only pass small, away. You got Deuce one pass thin. away. That's it. That's the six. Can't leave him. <laughs> He's gonna break Dante's record. Benji, the record is the record is in jeopardy. <laughs> you know, honestly, that's, that's such smart ball because you position him one pass away from Brunson. You can't make that double. Mm-hmm. You can't help that hard off. Mm-hmm. You know, before. Like on Monday, when I saw we had the Raptors game, I'm like, ah, nobody's going to play. This isn't going to be that great. Today, was... we get the return of Mitchell Robinson and Deuce McBride getting ready to break <laughs> the, Dante's record that he just set. From this one is game be, ago. This is going to be all the drama fun. about that. Monty Williams didn't want to be part of the story. It's not going to be much of a story. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be over before it started. Old news. On that one, on that play that just happened where Grady Dick scored, why was Mitch helping to like Precious was in good position to contest the shot? Mitch should have just stayed and got the rebound, boxed out and get the rebound instead of also trying to contest the shot, which allowed the offensive board. So he's a little jumpy early. That's the dance, right? Of a drop defender is like part one of the one of the most important things about playing drop defense is knowing when not to contest. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness! What? Oh, That's why he wanted to come off the bench because <laughs> he cannot do that with the starters. <laughs> <laughs> really quickly, just want to shout out Deuce McBride. Most threes in the quarter tied for a New York Nick with Josh Starks and Quentin Richardson. Six threes wow. in a quarter is the record for a New Quentin York Nick. Quentin Richardson, yeah, one of those mid two thousand. You could light it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he could do it. That's a wow, six threes in a quarter. <laughs> the Knicks have 40 points with two minutes left in the first quarter. And it's like an easy 40. It's like no stress on this 40 at all. The funniest thing about Deuce McBride is he took the offensive leap that everybody thought Quentin Grimes was gonna take. Like he like took his leap from him. He was like, No, it's mine. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> you can go play in Detroit. Yeah, you're right. It's not a no joke. Garrett Temple. On Terrible his 17th pass. NBA team, that includes ABA. <laughs> Good block. <laughs> Thank you, XJ. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> uh, that's funny. How old is Garrett Temple? Uh, he's been, I think he's actually been on like 17 teams. I'm not, that, that wasn't a joke. Yeah. Gar- Gar- yeah, Garrett like, Temple is he- almost 38. You're What's lying. Happened? There's no way he's been in the league. No. How, he's how born in 1980, 1986. No, he's been in the league a long time. Oh my he's, god, I didn't know he's that old. He's the Kenny Lofton of foot of um <laughs> basketball. Oh boy. Oh my god. And one. It, was that a did he put a little butter on that roll? Oh my goodness. Why did every <laughs> bogey pass almost turn over? <laughs> it is. Dude. It does feel like that. So it's the <gasps> Alec Burks won't pass. And every boy on Bogdanovich pass is almost <laughs> turned. That's correct. They should just switch. Like, uh, otherwise, Alex pass every otherwise time. And... Been, otherwise, they've been really good. Yeah. Otherwise, they've been really yeah. good. <laughs> Besides being bad at basketball, they've been really good. I can't get over the fact that Gary Temple is 37. His number's 37, isn't it? This is crazy. He's 37 that. years That's crazy. old. crazy. Going to be 38 in two he months. turns 38 in two months. Oh my goodness! How many teams is Garrett Temple? That there we go. There's some trivia. <laughs> yeah, we, we're wow. in the tri- we're in the trivia banks early. His basketball reference page looks like the Boston Celtics retired jerseys. Like it's a lot up there. My goodness, that's crazy. Oh man, man, he's played for a lot of teams. Okay. This is a really good game for Mitch to be coming back for, I feel like. just It's like a warm-up. It's a nice, Look casual. Got some little skinny guys he could just dominate. <laughs> <laughs> they're not just small. They're also, like, light. You know? Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's like fake Chris Boucher's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're all Chris Boucher's out there. But not as good, not nearly as talented. And Those Chris Boucher look, is actually pretty strong for his size too. It's so. like um in two K when you you play your my play and you're like five six <laughs> seasons in and, and all your play 
and the other team just has like default characters. That's that's the Toronto Raptors tonight. Uh, I thought what? it might get. I thought it might get overturned. <clears throat> Mitch is unbothered. I didn't think he was there. I want to see it again. Yo, Mitchell Robinson is a giant. Look at him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Six threes, and the it's first crazy. one was a was a, just a pull up dagger. That's a decent contest. He's the rest of them, I think, were absolutely wide stinking open. This stinking one stinking open warm up shot. He's got a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful jumper. Really elevates, consistent. Mm-hmm. I just, I mean, look, any any like I people are people. There's a lot of I told you so's about Deuce McBride right now, which are the, t- take your bows. Nobody thought he was going to be one of the best shooters in the league. Yeah, there you go. Like he unquestionably has been since he started, since he's gotten gotten this playing time. He's like, he's, he's gonna he's gonna cool off. Has not cooled off. Ha- he's only heating up. You we- know, honestly, we might be at like a period in NBA history where his shooting might end up being closer to the norm four or five years down the line because all these guys do is practice threes and he's taking open ones. Oh. So if all you practice is open threes and that's what you're getting in the game, why can't you hit like, and if you're hitting in practice 80 to 90% of your threes, when you get into the game, how is shooting 50% on wide open threes crazy? You know, like I think that going forward, especially like with the, the emphasis on shooting in the game today, I think Deuce McBride today is closer to what we'll see in like six, seven years in terms of shooting percentages. It's a hot ben, take. But Benji, think- what's the difference between shooting like in practice and shooting in the game? Like why why are the percentages so, – there's such a large disparity between the two? Yeah, I mean, I think part of it is like how are you shooting in practice, right? What are we talking about when we're talking about practice shooting? Like there's game reps that you try to, you know – with closeout drills and there you go, folks. There we go, boy. Um, and like there, there isn't as big as disparity. Obviously, if you're just like getting a rebounder and putting them up with no contest, it's going to be a much higher percentage, right? Um, but then look, there's there's pressure. Pressure is a real thing. There's uh, sweat. There's there's t- there's fatigue that you have in a game that you don't have in practice. There's yeah. fear of a closeout. There's you know because we even see it with free throw variables. shooting, Benji too. You know. Guys, again, again, though, like, what are you doing to simulate a game situation? Yeah, when you practice, that's a hell of a move. What, what? the hell was that, bro? <laughs> he got scared. Just shoot threes. Okay. Uh, what kind of finger roll was that? It was a sick move, though. <laughs> uh... Yeah, free throws also like you know the way to practice free throws and practice is to like run laps beforehand or or actually do them in like within a scrimmage where at mm-hmm. least you're sweating. That sucks. Garrett Temple. The defense wasn't very good in that quarter, I will say. I'm not sure it's going to no. matter, but. It doesn't yeah. matter when you score 180 points. It's Looks irrelevant. like Bogey was out of position. Shocker. Shock. <sighs> um, Absolutely shocked. Anyway, what was I going to say before we started talking about that? Real quick before you go, uh, Nick's up 45-33 at the end of the first quarter. Uh, really having their way with the Raptors. Defense wasn't great. Offense could get whatever they want. Deuce McBride with six threes in the first quarter. Ties for a Knicks all-time franchise record. Uh, it played every minute of the first quarter, so we'll see if he rests at all, if he shatters Dante DiVincenzo's record that was set just a game ago. Uh, go ahead, Benji. And I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i go pull up the Super Chats while you get cooking. Um. I wanted to go back to a conversation we were having that I'm not remembering what it was. Oh, the 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 the, the press at the four stuff, and the do starting thing. So like, I was critical in certain games. Like the first goal in the state game was like he stuck with that lineup in the first and third quarter for a long time when it was mm-hmm. obvious that Golden State was going to ignore, mm-hmm. totally ignore Precious Achua, and I thought the adjustment just took too long. Mm-hmm. Now it's interesting to me that. The second Golden State game is when he decides to actually make the change, and and they cited what we all saw was that in the first game, this is how they played us, and we needed to adjust. It's like, uh, yeah, but you didn't do it in the game, right? So that's the sometimes it does take Tibbs a full game to make a change, and you hope that he makes them more in game when he sees something on the floor live. That becomes obviously more important even in the playoffs, but yeah, you know that's the one thing, and it's like. That's the fear. Like, yeah, I, I mean, I'm glad he noticed it now, and Deuce has paid it off, and and then some with how he's played. Um, and the other thing about it, though, is like, and I, I was critical of the lineup. That said, the press at the four lineup overall performed 
pretty admirably, even despite the shortcomings. Uh, mm-hmm. and I think the the numbers tell you that. So like, I got why he did it. Um, I'm glad it's run its course. I'm glad he's pivoted away. Did it take him too long at times? Yes. But like all in all, I think we come out okay on the other end where Precious was able to expand his game a little bit. We could see what that looked like. And Deuce now coming along. So from a development standpoint, I think it's it's all good. But the fear for me, the only thing coming out of it that I fear is is not making the in-game adjustments quickly enough on the spot, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's, a, that's actually a great point because – and like you said, in the playoffs, that becomes a premium. Time is a premium. You don't have a full game to adjust in a series against the Boston Celtics, right? Like, you need to make that adjustment quick to give your chance, your team the best chance to win. And we saw it last year in the playoffs when he kept starting Josh Hart, and then game five he decides, I'm just going to go to Quentin Grimes for the entire game. You know, like, what if you <laughs> – Give me that. Give me that. Oh, Mitch. I'll take that, sir. Thank you. Holy cow. Give boy on with the punisher at the go. other side. Let's go. We're going to score like 150 points tonight. Hey, this I'm second unit is about to be crazy. <laughs> Mitch, just, Mitch just, he literally caught that. Get out of here, Jordan Nuara. That's a great play by DiVincenzo. Have, have no, like really, have they gotten a rebound? <laughs> DiVincenzo, he's, he just gets his, he just like heart in a different way, but like just gets his hand on the ball a lot. Defensively yep. on the boards, he's just such good instincts. Wow! Wow! Oh, what an audacious so I, pass! I will say, you guys tell me if I'm tripping. I'm not seeing a ton of vertical lift from Mitch. I agree. Yeah, totally not yet. although there was there, there it was. Yeah, but and maybe he got healthier, and that's why. Yeah, I think, I think he's um, just heavier. But I, I, I also don't know which ankle he jumped because like, that was a one foot jump. Uh, on the block, so maybe it was on the good ankle, and that was a two so two foot block. Um, real quick, I want to go to super chat just because there's 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 a couple just have been sitting in there. Uh, we appreciate it, Robert Cross. We are looking at super chats. Um, cerebral that? big thread Benjamin, aka Tibbs Jr. <laughs> Or Alec Burke's biggest fan. Ice McBride <laughs> is not a joke. He is a revelation about to be recognized across the NBA nation. Salutations. That is. <laughs> That is from Robert W. Cross, uh, specifically comment. to you, clearly. That's a ben. great question, Robert. Let me address that. <laughs> <laughs> He's waiting for your answer, I think. Um, <laughs> ooh. Oh, no. All they have is threes. I mean, I'll let Bruce Brown shoot that, though. This is a scoring frenzy out here. It's the Grizzlies, um, man. And real quick, a second super chat from Robert Cross. I told IYBJ. What is that? It's your boy, John. Oh, I told it's your boy John so months ago. Got the DMs. I, I forget all the acronyms. I'm sorry. I got you. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Thank you, Robert. Two blocks go, Mitch. Six minutes. Okay. The boy is back. Listen, overall, huge success. Came back, made plays, was a big factor. Mm-hmm. Got to get his legs back. Man, um, imagine Mitchell Robinson coming off the court. And having to deal with Isaiah Hartenstein. Oh man, this is isn't heaven. that a beautiful thing? <laughs> this is heaven. Dog, oh, if they make one more. Another three, Garrett Temple three. He's gonna break the record. <laughs> there somebody's, is multiple. Somebody's people break going the to break tonight. the record. <laughs> He's got like three already. You know? To to your point earlier, Benji, about the precious lineup and the kind of slowness to make adjustments. So, just playing devil devil's advocate for a second, because just to be clear. For anybody listening, I have never have never been in favor of that lineup. I would never yeah. play a non-shooter at the four, almost under no circumstances. I just don't think that that's a sustainable way to win basketball games in 2024. But um, I think spacing is like the most critical aspect of the modern game of the NBA. So with that caveat, uh, is there something to the fact that Tibbs is saying, hey, this lineup is working. I'm looking at the data. It's performing really, really well. Um, other teams have played us this way, you know, see the Lakers, the Lakers treated, you know, precious very similarly, although albeit having different personnel than the Warriors. Um, is there something to the aspect of, yeah, they're going to play us this way, but we are going to make it up on the offensive boards because that's what we've done the whole time. We've, we had like 40% offensive rebound rates against multiple teams and have dominated despite them leaving precious open. So like recognizing this is a weakness, but I'm going to, I'm going to give it more possessions to balance out. Like, is there something to that before yeah. switching away from it? Yeah, no, I think that's fair. Um, I think that's fair, especially in the regular season. And, and you're trying things out and seeing how it looks. 
I think there are developmental reasons to see what Precious has at the four. Um, and like in terms of information gathering and like, what is this guy? And if you're thinking about bringing him back next season and where his role, like, yeah, I think that's all valid. I think that's all valid. And also learning how to play that way because you will be in situations, potentially foul trouble injuries where you have to play those lineups. Randall is, a, you know, n- not a great shooter. So are you learning things about how to play off of that? That can help you later. I think is also valid, I, you know, so. It, all fair. And we don't know everything that Tibbs is thinking or his rationales, and he doesn't necessarily tell anybody. So, yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. That, that I totally agree with that. Makes sense. Uh, Last time I'm we just... had the geezers. Last game we had the geezers dancing. <laughs> yeah. This time we have the kids. <laughs> Looking at Mensa's chat. What, Life is about balance. They had old ladies, like, in the... On the yeah, floor? You just said it, Mensa. Eh? <laughs> yes, I was just thinking that, man. Oh, I thought you were reading his comment. You were both no, just no, like no, independently no. thinking about the same the, thing. The Denver Nuggets had like everybody's mom out there, like just having a great time. It was, <laughs> yeah, it was like it was, it was like the it was like the Nuggets that my kids leave out on the kitchen table overnight. Sometimes I don't clean them up. <laughs> it's like the next day Nuggets. <laughs> the Denver That's Nuggets. That's ruthless nuggets. from you, Ben. <laughs> the next day Nuggets. <laughs> No, but the Nuggets are the aren't the Nuggets the one that had that like grandma that used to oh no that's the Warriors there was like I think the Warriors had that grandma that used to dance and she used to wear like these like ugly sweaters and dance in the crowd Warriors or Nuggets I don't remember that's what I thought of Team Fat Dance <laughs> Oh good Oh man that'd be great Yeah hand to hand that's a good challenge I mean it's only one point but we'll take it. I would say it's only like <laughs> wow, only like point eight good. points, right? Because it would be what like an eighty percent chance it goes in. Oh yeah, we get another one. Ah, oh, come on. So I'm concerned that they're only up by ten. Honestly, it was just they're dominating this team, and yeah, the, the Knicks aren't not, is strong. Yeah. The Knicks aren't playing at full speed. I don't think. Oh, that hurt. I'm not concerned they're going to lose the game, but in terms of like hope, it wow, that's deep. Dude, it's not even touching the rim. <laughs> he kind of looked like Steph coming off that screen. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> are you kidding me? That was deep. And early in the shot clock. That was the Knicks are t- yeah, 7 for 11 for the Raptors is not great. That's what I'm saying. It's like I, I want another wide open corner three. That's not good. Once again, left a strong side against an iffy shooter. But McDaniels, is, is he that bad? I, I, he's never been known as like a Paul issue. I don't know what his percentage is this year. I'd be lying yeah. if I told you I knew. No, that's fine. That's that's fair. Um. Oh God. <laughs> Wait, can this be his actual shooting percentage? Jaden, what is it? Uh, well, this is Jalen. Jalen, sorry, what is it? <laughs> he's shooting seventeen percent from three. Well, that, my friend, is why they're helping off the strong side corner. <laughs> yeah. On not on like tiny like l- extremely low volume, he shoots. What Whoa, he shoots? That was sick. They didn't know he was throwing the jump. Oh, he was man, looking the other it. way. <laughs> he not shoots. Did we. <laughs> this is this is crazy. Like I'm I'm speechless. But he shoots five point seven per seventy five possessions. Jesus. And shoots seventeen point seven percent. I've never seen anything like that. Ooh, that's tough D. And Nothing one. Matters. There we go. <clears throat> Brunson elbow. Wow. Simmons. And, uh, you know, people have been praising Simmons' defense, but uh, I'm kidding. I don't know who Simmons is. Me I was going to say, I don't know anything about this. <laughs> yeah, I was like, all right, go off, like, go off King. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's my prep for today. As uh, Simmons. Free throw. Yes. This is Kobe Simmons, who has played Co- seven NBA games over the past four years. Kobe Simmons. There you go. Named after Kobe because of similar skill set. <laughs> I'm sure his... my son's gonna be just like Kobe. K O B I, unfortunately, <laughs> but Kobe Simmons is Hey, my guys. Let's more. give a round of applause to these two guys. Wish him love. IQ positive and hard thing, man. Yeah, all positive thoughts that way. Mm-hmm. Good to see Nine you. Nine to five, to man. I had so much fun room for those guys. Here we go, JB. I have more fun room for him, Cooking. though. Man, it's like, all right, now you're not listening. You're letting him ISO a little bit. That's not working for you. 
That's a tough move. He's not going to make it though. Yeah. Whoa. That's the one he works out. He works on with his trainer in the summer. And he I'm realized... just saying Kobe, Kobe Simmons wears number eight. Take for that what you will. <laughs> He's trying. Hey, you might be right. You might be on to something. Sorry, man. So I interrupted you. No, I was saying that's the move that he works on um, during the during the offseason with his trainer. That when he gets to training camp and he tries to do it and his coaches are like, never, ever do that <laughs> shit. Oh, oh man. Brunson's go. cooking. Now they're in a drop. They've stopped the blitz. And that's not going to work. And that's the difference in Jalen Brunson now than when he was in Dallas. He could punish a drop. Yeah, now he's unstoppable. I was going to say, what do you go to? You became nothing. a third-level scorer. With this personnel, go. you go to absolutely nothing. You just lose <laughs> by a lot. You go home. You just accept it. <laughs> Take your beating. Go home. <laughs> you bet the unders. Yeah. Oh, that's a deep three. I, I don't know if you should. I don't know if the Raptors should be betting on anything with this whole John Tate Porter stuff going on. That was on. the joke, man. God, <laughs> come on, guys. I that, I tried Stay to pick up me. for you. I tried. I tried. Oh man. Time I'm out. I want. I need Deuce cool. back in the game. No, I don't want Deuce back in the game. I Let want Deuce, Deuce to break leave. the record. Wow. Man. Like I... going. <laughs> Tips was not happy with Hartenstein on that. Yeah, let's take a look at Brunson. Can't play drop. Yeah, there's really nothing you could do with this guy if you're the Toronto Raptors. Yeah, what like I'm in those types of situations. Can you not play drop and you know hustle over the screens and just like stay attached to his hip and just yeah funnel him? I, again, it's all it's going to be personnel based, right? Like, yeah, you can do that. You just have to be really good at it. So like, got to be yeah. Derek White and Drew Holiday, right? Yeah. Which, by the way, by the way, when Drew Holiday and Derek White and Porzingis played drop, Brunson had a great first half. So like. Even them, who mm -hmm. probably argues the best two man drop tandem in the league, Derek mm -hmm. White and Porzingis are up there, certainly. He look like I don't there's not really an answer. I don't think anybody's figured him out. Miami tried a bunch of different things in the playoffs, didn't figure him out. Like he's a, he's an elite scorer. In he's the just tough. Yeah, he's just tough. He's, he's one not... of these guys where you're, it's more of picking a poison than it is than it is like a solution. For sure. He's at that level. I sure. remember when uh, when Brunson signed his contract and everybody was calling him overpaid. And then, like, the Memphis Grizzlies were like, you must not know. JB is cold. Like, uh, <laughs> Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> Cha Morant, Des Bain, Mikhail Bridges. They were like, they do not know this guy because – and you're seeing it now. Like, yeah, overpaid where? He's unstoppable. But it just goes to show how much respect he had back then before it um it just come to fruition – you know, in New York. So it's just been, he's, he's been a joy to watch, man. Like there's nothing you can do with him because his bag is just that deep. There's no defense for somebody whose bag is that deep, who's comfortable going to, who has counters, you know, it's just, <clears throat> I remember um one thing Kobe used to say was whatever the defense does is the wrong move. That's how deep mm. Jalen Brunson's bag is. Whatever they do is wrong because he has an answer for it. Yep. So I, I mean, I, I agree. I agree with both of you and all of your sentiments about the difficulty or impossibility really of guarding Brunson. But I do think it's really intriguing how the Celtics played him. I, so he went four of nine from three in that game. Um, but he, they did funnel him to take a bunch of mid-range shots and they were just like fine with living with that. He took 25 shots. And I feel like that's how playoff teams like the Celtics are going to treat him. I don't think they're going to they're gonna do this like trapping blitzing stuff i think they're going to just try to funnel him into the pain if they can and and let him kill him kill them with like pull up threes i'm assuming that's like kind of what they're going to go and with. even better even better pull up mid-range shots which he'll make a share of that and that and, and that that why that boston game was so fascinating for this reason is because brunson destroyed them in the mid-range in that yep. drop mm -hmm. and they're just like and, and at some point you thought they were going to change and they just never did and they're nope. like you're not going to beat us <laughs> consistently on mid-range jumpers with our offense. Yep. And they were right. That that's the bet they're going to make and they're right. Now, if the Knicks can surround Brunson with the right personnel, that's going to be interesting. I think yep. we're well on our way to surrounding him with that personnel, <laughs> getting Mitch Robinson exactly. back, Isaiah Hartenstein, Josh Hart, uh DiVincenzo even, OG and Anobi. Like you may not want to all of it, but you yeah. may not want to give us points because you might not be able to score on the other end. 
Not a boy, Bogues. Tough to say for a team like the Boston Celtics, who has maybe the I think the fourth best net rating of all time right now. But <laughs> it's like not even kidding. Like they're oh, they're, we tried to get Brunson. Sorry, <laughs> they're great. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see what happens in the playoffs. But I think oh, the D Hornstein. After tonight, we should be in third place, and let's see if we can hold on to that for the rest of the season. Because if we get third place, we don't have to worry about uh, Boston for a while. That's 100%. huge. That's huge. Yeah. Uh, Grady Dick, by the way, amazingly intuitive cutter and mover off the ball. Like, really, really good at it. Mm -hmm. And he's way bigger than people think. Like, you think, oh, well, you know, Brunson's going to step up. No, Grady Dick is, is a full 6'8". will go over Jalen Brunson pretty easily. Oh, wow. with a block. I would say that for Toronto, these games are literally all about him and his development. There's literally probably zero else that's important in terms of these games, except for Grady Dick. Yep. Who Can't just argue got with that. Swatted. So GMAC points out that Cleveland <clears throat> is tied in the third quarter. Uh, need a Cleveland loss. They're going to play against wow, Charlotte Charlotte's tonight. the third seed. GMAC. They're, <laughs> what? They're tied with. They're losing. Eighty three, eighty six to the Charlotte Hornets. Come on, man. That's unserious. There he is again. There's another cut. Yeah. Beautiful backdoor. Too bad he has no shooters around him. Yeah. That was smart because they switched it and DiVincenzo was top locking, so he just went back door. Yeah, Pocket. can't let Dick do the back door, guys. Oh, <laughs> he tried to look off. He literally tried to do a Tyrese Halliburton and threw he it did out it of before. He, he hit Deuce in the corner on one of those before for a three. Yeah, yeah. He's got that in the bag. Yeah. Isaiah's awesome. No, no, I'm, I'm just saying it didn't work out this time. But no, yeah. it didn't work. <laughs> Tips isn't going to be happy with that. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. no he's up on his foot. Is he okay? He's, okay. He's all right. He's alive. <laughs> 48 more minutes. Josh Hart has been extremely quiet. Nice. Nice. Yeah, oh, they just have no size, man. Like, nope. That's too easy. <clears throat> it's funny because the team with the 6'8 dick has no size, which is <laughs> strange, man. <laughs> Not what you would expect when you know you, you spent your time drafting, you know, the legs. Sorry, guys. Uh, I, I can't. I, I, dick. Yeah, he's always been into length, um, Masai. Thank yeah. you so much. Club 6'9". Yeah, there. Club what? Club 6'9". That's what they were calling the Raptors for a little no, while. No, I, I, I'm i aware. Uh, <laughs> I'm Club 6'9 with, with a dick. And... Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, wow. Great wow, rotations. I didn't... <laughs> Not yeah, good no, rotations. Literally everything is funny. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, and this is the thing about I don't know. So on paper, the Knicks should win this game by like forty points, but they just won't, and it's just a, such an interesting part of basketball. Shooting variance. Ugh, mm. how do you miss an open three like that? Oh and yeah, and gives it away. Precious with the extra extra the pass. Yes, sir. I see go. Oh, 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 UFO. Precious, you beast. Hey, okay, Precious. <laughs> That's a great possession from him. You know, this is the value of having good basketball players because a player like Precious Achua can just play his role and be valuable. A million, On a team when please. we're, like, really injured and you need Precious to, like, go above himself, he can give you that for, you know, like a game or two. But now you're really getting to see, like, mm -hmm. the value of Precious Achua, which no other team was able to extract. This might be the most... Oh, oh. <laughs> pull the chair. Got the, yeah, pull the chair out. Yeah, this this might be the most talented team. Precious oh, Precious played for. <laughs> that's so sad. Thank yeah. you, Noara. I'm telling you, this this is why his coaches were like, all that shit that you worked on in the off season, throw it away, and just get it. <laughs> throw it away. No, we don't want oh, that. God. It's got to be so demoralizing. The guy spends months grinding in a gym, pouring sweat. <laughs> he comes in, the coach is like, "Yeah, all that shit you did." Just throw that shit away. Oh, <laughs> dribble. We don't want you to dribble. Oh, it's a great pass, and man, oh. I'll tell you, Kelly Olynyk's putting on a Jaden Ivy level defensive clinic out there. What is Olynyk doing? Seriously, it's such a great point. He's not fighting for rebounds. He's not trying to protect the rim whatsoever. What is he doing? That time you ran him off the line. That's a good move, man. I there like him. Kicking the paint. Grady's man. Grady's cool. gonna be good. I had to call him Grady. <laughs> That's not even I had a to pun. avoid. 
It's not, I had to avoid it. But everything is everything is funny with his name. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm trying to call the game, but you can't. Just, a name like that. There we go. I've he never hooked. seen I've never seen an easier shot taken yeah. in the paint in my entire life. Hit him with the hook. He hooked though. He hooked. He hit him with the shot yeah. hook. Yeah, but a hook shouldn't send the guy like into the bench. <laughs> <laughs> Foul. Look at this. It was like sort of a hook. There he goes. That's that Carmelo Anthony 2013 (laughs) wraparound. Yeah. Oh, Carmelo was dirty with those. I mean, not dirty in like an underhanded way, but like dirty, like nice with those. He got called for a lot of them. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie because I was always pissed off. Well, as Melo got older, the the, the offensive fouls just increased because he couldn't get to his spots anymore. Yeah. So he started shouldering people in the chest. (laughs) He started started hooking, doing all that. So that's what happens. And he'd always look around in disbelief. Like, yes, he would every time, <laughs> and so he'd give that grin. Damn, how many yeah. points does Grady have right now? What is going on? He's a corner <sighs> three sniper. We didn't want Dick on fire, and here we are. <laughs> He's five and nine from the field. Has thirteen points. Well, that's not so bad. Well, he's their leading scorer. Oh, only close. Only other. Wow. Close. Raptors wow. Josh Hart Temple. flying. Good call. No way, Dennis Mensa. No one wants dick on fire. You're right. Dick on fire is never a good time. Toronto oddly wants their dick on fire. <clears throat> oh my! Come on, man. This guy. He is. He he is on fire right now. Fifteen points for Grady Dick. Okay. It's just that we've seen it from all three levels from him already. Yeah, you he. <laughs> Blazing dick is crazy. Um, yeah, no, he, you can see the potential. He just has Come to. Come on, Deuce. Damn. Mm. Cooled off. Wow, that's an amazing rebound. Jeez. <laughs> there it is. No, no pass. Okay. Yeah. Oh, way off. Yeah. yeah. Another one. Man, this team is. That was in t- Like, he, there was no resistance there. No, they imagine. watched him catch the ball and put it back up. Guys, imagine a whole 48 minutes of trying to keep Precious Achua, Josh Hart, Dante DiVincenzo. Mitchell Robinson and Isaiah That's Hardenstein off the boards. Yeah, these guys rebound like like That's wide exhausting. receivers. Wait, wait, wait. Huh, huh, huh. That was good defense. Was stayed down. Clyde agrees. Ooh, great pass. Ooh, boy, is that release broken? My God. Yeah, to get not, every offensive rebound anyway. Apparently, J.J. Reddick's going to work with him in the offseason. I'm like, I don't know how that how, if that's really going to help anything. <laughs> Why? Because uh, it went so well for Quentin Grimes. I was about to say the same thing, Benji. <laughs> I don't know. If, if how it went for Grimes is any indication, then please they're, stay away. <laughs> they're closing with, with pressure at the five and Hartenstein out. I assume that's just a minutes thing. Trying to limit High Heart's minutes, right? Yeah, now you can really limit those two. He's at you, 12. So, yeah. He's only he, got he, oh. you know, he normally plays around 24, 25. So, yeah, he's halfway there. Oh, and they're missing Burks, I guess. So they're filling that man. The, you know, so Precious has been played a lot already. That's a great pass, Jalen. You got to finish that, Precious. Yeah. That's an excellent pass. Wow. Brunson's pick and roll passing has really popped, I think, of the last like 15 games or so. Yes. Totally agree. Mo- more. Just pocket passing than like anything like cross court or anything like that. But even that, I think, is important. And not that it's like a critical statistic or anything, because I barely believe in assists. But Brunson's assist percentage is up to thirty percent on the season, which is ninety fifth percentile. Obviously, the best of his career. So, oh wow! Shout out to him. Like the scoring, we saw the scoring renaissance of Jalen Brunson and, you know, in the early, maybe like the first 50 games of the season. But I feel like these last 10, 20 games or so, you're really starting to see Jalen Brunson grow as a passer. And it's, it, it really, as Jalen Brunson evolves, the, the conversation about who his perfect um, number two would be, because I think right now he's very obviously a number one um scorer on an offense maybe not the best player because whatever that means i don't care but in terms of like who's the most right the most complimentary player 
you could put next to a guy like him. He just makes the conversation more and more interesting. Like the guy that who you thought it would be – like Julius Randle was perfect for Jalen Brunson for a little while there because you figured that the most you could get off – like Jalen Brunson has his isolation scoring, but he also has this great off-ball three-point shooting, which is still there. But now you're seeing the passing come out, and it's like maybe you want a better role partner. Is Julius Randle a great role partner? Like the conversation nope. gets so interesting, you know, like now that we're seeing – how Jalen Brunson has evolved, and I'm just so excited to watch him play through through his prime. I believe um Keith, I think it's Keith Smith who reported. No, Bobby Marks reported that he's due. He can sign an extension on July 12th for like 165 million dollars. I hope he takes it. Yes. So what is, we go. What are the rebounds? This is I've never seen anything like this. They must be rebounding 50 percent of their misses. <laughs> the Knicks are out rebounding them 22 to 11. We have nine oh, offensive rebounds. Nine offense. So they have nine offensive rebounds, and the Raptors have eight defensive rebounds. The Knicks have more rebounds off of Raptors misses than the Raptors do. <laughs> I mean, off of Knicks misses than the Raptors do. Wow. No. With no time on the clock. 80 first half points. Holy shit. Damn. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Reset it. It is 80 to 59. New York Knickerbockers up on the Toronto Raptors at halftime. Incredible shooting performance from the Knicks so far. 12 of 24 from three, including six from Deuce McBride. Completely dominating the Raptors on the boards. Uh, Raptors, only reason they're within 21 is because the Raptors have eight threes in the first half. So amazing first half for the Knicks. And uh, we are going to halftime, and hopefully the Knicks can get some rest in the second half. They have a big lead, and they should be able to sit some guys. So. And right now on the screen, we have uh, Cavs Hornets 89-89 into, in the third quarter here. I'm very excited to watch this, not because I care about the Cavs Hornets game, but because of the Hornets color commentator is an excellent commentator. So I'm very excited to hear him scream. There we go. <laughs> All right. Miles Bridges. And one. Boy, am I glad I don't have to root for this guy. <laughs> As I said, I'm like, oh, I feel something about this feels very dirty. Then I remembered who he was. Makes sense. Oh, Great well, basketball sorry, I wasn't looking. We, we changed games. Here we go. Yeah. I didn't well, know we did this at halftime. This is dope. I like this. Oh, we're up two. Here we go. And Orlando's losing. You Nothing know what's funny? Like I was talking to a friend today. The that Warriors were like plus 166 money line. And I was like, I think the Warriors really need this win. And they're up 13 on the Magic. So this everything's coming up Knicks right now. This is great. If the if the Magic can hold on. Travel. Yes. No. Whatever you do, don't let Sam Merrill shoot. Just whatever you Literally, do. Literally, that's the most important thing. Get out of here. You can let that guy shoot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but not... great... By the way, you know who the, has the best half court defense in the league since the All Star break? The Charlotte Hornets. The Charlotte freaking Hornets. Oh, I I didn't know that actually. That's crazy. Steve crazy. Clifford, Grant Williams. It's one of the craziest stats I've seen all year. It, yeah, I, it I, makes I did no not sense. know that. <laughs> Steve Clifford happens to be a, he, he's a, he's a very good low hanging fruit coach, right? So you're going to give up the right shots. You're going to be disciplined. Like he's good at that stuff, but that's a crazy stat. There he that's, is. That's a completely crazy stat. By the way, Michich is really good. I, I think he's going to be good. I, I mean, think they're he's... playing freaking pokey out there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice that. That's crazy. Draft Twitter hall of famer right there. Look at this guy. Here we go. Tipping the ball around. Michich. <laughs> <laughs> right on cue. Charlotte I think that was on the pass, but yeah, he's like it's a still baby hilarious. ostrich. <laughs> and he's been a baby ostrich for like seven years. It's crazy. Yes, he's a baby ostrich who hasn't grown. <laughs> yeah, I've heard good. Th I, I I barely watched the guy. I know he, I watched him a little bit when he was on with OKC. I haven't watched many Hornets games of late. I haven't really seen him ball, but I yeah, I hear good things about him. In OKC, I thought I was disappointed with the Gordon Hayward trade because I'm like, Micic uh, can be a Gordon Hayward type, at least at this mm -hmm. age. You know, um, he just wasn't making shots. Wow, tough hook from Jared Allen. He's been doing that. He's been doing the one two dribble little finishes, both hands, too. He's got a lefty jump hook, too. Mm -hmm. He's the second best player on the Cavaliers. He's when a really good player. When they're healthy, Allen, even. He's their second best player. Nick's matchup problems aside, he's a really good player. Yep. You think he's better than Garland? 
Yes. Mm. I think he has this year on question. This year, this year. I mean, yeah. like as a just a miss that. I mean, just as a player. Yeah, this year he's been better for sure. I mean, in terms of scarcity, you can you don't need a Jared Allen. You really don't. You can. Get, well, I was gonna say. I was gonna say the opposite. Interesting. I'm gonna here, 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 yeah, finish that thought, Vincent. I was. You can get by without with a ta- with a player less talented than Darius Garland. I'm uh, not Darius Garland. Uh, Jared Allen, but Darius Garland. That just the creation juice that he that he presents to you in theory. He's probably a more valuable player than Jared Allen. But I think Jared Allen is just better than him. Hmm. And I, thought, I would. Yeah, yeah, I would counter me. that. I think. Th- th- not, not the gar- not the garlands are easy to find, but it's almost like if you are a very small guard mm. who's a creator um, and doesn't bring you a ton of defense, like you got to be really good to kind of clear a bar. Yeah, and I totally agree. Garland this year hasn't cleared that bar. Like yeah. he had did last year. Um, <laughs> wow, Greg Williams can all the way to the basket. Look, he's laughing. He's like, "How's good rim get protection by, by my boy drop defense, George Niang." Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm 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 starting. Sometimes I think in the NBA, right, in this NBA, although maybe the rule changes will affect this a little bit, but in this NBA, your pathway to being a pretty or, or an efficient twenty point scorer, six assist guy. Not that it's easy, but like there just see it seems to be easier than maybe what Jared Allen provides on a nightly basis, or easier to find. You know, I agree. I agree, Ben. Yeah, yeah. like just you know what I mean? quick, I, I, I'm on the same page. I think just if you're a primary initiator and that's like your main skill set, it's kind of like what DJ was saying in our in our chat earlier. It, if that's your main skill set, then and you can't do anything else, you have to be elite at that. You have to be like Jalen Brunson level at that. If you're not, right. then you have to offer something else. And Darius Garland does offer some stuff off ball, but he's small. He and so I, yeah, I just he can he, shoot. And by the way, his defense is, I think his defense is better than people give him credit yes. for, even though he's, he, but he is small and that's going to give a limitation, but he's not bad defensively. Yeah, he's not bad. And so that, that's why it's not like, oh, yeah, obviously Jared Allen's better. But I think just those factors considered, I would probably lean towards Jared Allen. Yeah. And like this is what happened to like Isaiah Thomas, right? Um, like the, the, the younger one. Like when he lost his elite offensive game because of injuries mm-hmm. once over. even though he could still be a good offensive player but he's not offering you anything else so it's like if he's not doing it at an extremely high level you just lose your spot it, mm-hmm. it's kind of crazy how it happens but that's what happens yep oh yeah george's <sighs> that was some terrible defense holy cow <laughs> Best the best half court defense in the <laughs> league. Listen, I Numbers really, don't lie. Yeah. I really want Charlotte to win this game. That'd be for so obvious awesome. reasons. Yeah. Oh, all the way That's to the rim. Wow. Oh, oh, no. Good foul. Should have finished a terrible defense. There, there's your there's your switchable uh, Swiss Army knife. The guy who could switch on to one through five. Evan Mobley. You hate Mobley. <laughs> oh my God! You hate him. <laughs> Evan Garnett's little brother. Kevin Garnett. Evan Garnett. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Kevin without the K, baby. <laughs> Literally, if Mobley could shoot 35% from three, I wouldn't hate him. Like, that's the difference between me hating him and me Man, feeling he's like gonna he's need, a really important It's not player. just going to be the 35%. He's going to need to prove it some decent volume, too. Like, yeah. no one's going to care. Yeah. No one's going to care. The Knicks certainly won't care until he's, <laughs> no. like, really changing his reputation as a shooter, and he's a long way from that. For sure. I would I would trade him. <clears throat> I would absolutely Mensa trade him. Mensa, it's like too late now. I I mean it's not too late, but like the value is not, not what it was, man. Yeah, no, nah, definitely not. What they should have done, and there was there's no way that they could have known what we know now, but oh that's off mobs. They were Very supposed to much. keep Lowry marketing. If they yeah. kept Lowry and traded oh, Evan, a terrible call. Bad man. call. Oh no, Merrill. No, oh, Bertans, Bertans, can you wake up, bro? <laughs> he got slapped in the face. He's like, it's the Charlotte fucking horse. I don't care. <laughs> he just gave up. Like, <laughs> I'm making 17 million. I don't give a crap. These games don't actually oh matter. Oh my god, Pokey. Poke to the rack. That's what okay. they call Pokeball. That was with <laughs> that was what they call Pokey. Gotta catch them all. Yes, sir. What I got to see what happened to make this guy unable to play. Wait, oh, man. Can they go back? Because that Bertans running 
his face. <laughs> his chasing metal okay. slow motion was one of the funniest things. He was like, Stop the oh. game! I'm in crisis. It was like, what's that music that's always in the background when someone runs like that in the movie? Oh, I was just thinking, this is like a Will Ferrell skit. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what's that music? Shoot, it's gonna come to me. Like the Kirby Enthusiasm theme song? No, no, like the dramatic music. Dr- I don't uh, know. I, 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 I'm the worst person for these kinds of references. As Karis Levert leaves a floor. Pokeball is chaos. Look at this guy. Bo- oh, 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 my God. Good what pass. That's right. Pass. <sighs> Berton's in there. I can't Berton's and Pokey is in there. I was going to say they have Pokeshevsky and Berton's out there at the same time. What? And the half court defense is dominant. <laughs> well, I haven't seen the Cavs score much of you. <laughs> See, they've given up 96 points through three. Look so. at this team. Look at Pokeball. Kickball. kickball. I yeah, don't you agree. Can, you the color commented. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he was so offended. Oh, my goodness. He's Cliff. the best in the business. No. Yeah, it's that, not a kick. They got to take it call. out of the game. Threw it out of his foot. Uh, by rule, it's not a kick. It's the wrong call. Oh, yeah. There you go. Look, Pokey's. I got to say, Pokey's been everywhere cool. defensively. Superstar Evan Mobley. Evan Kevin's little brother Evan. Evan Garnett. <laughs> I'm going to start calling him that now because it's hilarious. Oh, man. <laughs> Evan Garnett. You know who's low-key pretty good on the, the local telecast, uh, local broadcast, is Antonio Daniels for the Pelicans. He's good. Yes. He's great. He's the great. Pelicans broadcast as a whole is great. They're playing yeah. guys very good, too. Yeah, I like I like watching the games. Just like if they're if the uh, the Pelicans are playing, I want to watch the game. I watch their telecast every time. Yep. Trey Ashley, Ashley Shahmati is pretty good too. By the way, was that inappropriate? I don't know. What would you say? Uh, oh. just, I'm a, I'm a fan of Ashley. You're a fan. Yeah. You enjoy her work. <laughs> She's good. Why wait? We should just watch the Knicks halftime show. <laughs> so Trey Man's been pretty decent with Charlotte. Good for him. Yeah. He's averaging about 12 five assists on 45 38 splits. That's really? Good. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, he's got a lot of talent. Just didn't really have a place for him in OKC. Tons of talent, yeah. It's that, was a good get, that was a good get for Charlotte. Really good get for the for for Hayward. Whew. Yeah, I I didn't like that trade honestly. I I I, I know what they were going for, but to me, I'm just like, OK this Sizzle. Is, what's that? You didn't like it from there from OKC. I didn't like it from OKC. No, yeah, I would have just kept Mitic. I just felt like they just they they kind of got rid of him before he got into a rhythm. He's known as a shooter, and that's the only thing of, of his game that wasn't going well <laughs> was his shot. So I, I like to give those guys time. Um, and then I don't think there, there was a reason to give up on, on Trey Mann. <coughs> well, yeah, I think with, I think also what they're dealing with is like they're not going to pay all these guys anyway. Mm-hmm. Like, like, like they can't keep all the young guys. Yeah. So um, that, I think that's part of the Trey Mann calculus is like, A, we don't really have a ton of minutes for him, and B, like we're not going to be able to pay him anyway. Um, that's fair. So I think that that is part of it for them, but I don't know. I, 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 I Hayward's been really kind of strange there. It's Have, just the it's Hayward, not. like going for Hayward. It's specifically was like they wanted some size at the wing. They wanted a little creative, you know, a little bit kind of like the, you know, he can run you a pick and roll. He can, he's, he's a smart passer. I just don't yeah. know how much he has left in the tank. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the idea of Hayward is one thing, but yeah, yeah. you know, I watch a lot of OKC, and he's just been, he hasn't been, been good, just I like know. awful, just really I awful, know. like a shell of himself. <clears throat> when they played, um, they played Toronto. He was horrible. He was just awful. He he couldn't make shots. Bad decisions constantly. Just turnovers. He was fouling. Terrible on defense. Got exploited. Like he was just, it's just not good. Uh I don't know if it's just he's his career's winding down, but I, I, don't I think see, that's I don't the case. Unfortunately, too many injuries. 
Yeah, it's sad. It's a bummer. And he was really good. And he was so athletic, too, when he was young. Dude, it all changed on that one freaking play. First play of the season. That's one of the craziest. That's one of the craziest things like that's happened in the NBA. Yeah, shocking. But like, you know, Paul so George had the same injury and came back like fine. You know? Yeah, that's true. But he's so damn skilled. It's like different. He's like, yeah. And Gordon Hayward had some decent years in Charlotte, even after. Just never was quite the same. Never had the same bounce. Mm-hmm. PG is so good. He's so good. Man, PG, it just he would just be the perfect. He's kind of like a, an OG to me. Like put him anywhere and he's the perfect component piece to take you to that next level. Um can play off and on ball, is really strong defensively, off and on ball. Like he's just can create package, a little can create. Shoot, can create. Yeah, it just does everything. He is he is really, really good. Although I don't know what the hell's going on with the Clippers. Holy cow. That's an utter collapse. I wasn't expecting it honestly. I thought they, I thought they were going to contend. I thought they were going to be like a top three seed in the West, and or they don't look you know, like they don't, they don't even like look it. like anything close right now. No. All right, I need Deuce to get off, get off to a hot start to give give Dante a run, because that would be the craziest thing ever if they broke it two nights in a row. <laughs> <laughs> they should go. I mean, just go for it. There's nothing else to play for right now. You got. And then here, Darko, the Darko being like, "I don't want to be a part of this story." <laughs> Yeah, Monty Williams' beef with the Knicks is very weird, but he's so annoying right. now, man. I don't. The Monty you kinda, thing is, I, I've, I, you know, it is weird. It is, it is weird. Like, Ugh. He got stuck on the rim. I yeah. Think he got blocked by the rim. Yeah, it got stuffed. Crazy. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. What is happening? He just got stuck. That's it. Floater. Oh, it's plenty of time. Plenty yeah, of time. Oh, oh wow. there it is. Oh, he short armed it. That um, was not good defense. I, 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 you know, you watch and I've watched a lot of Toronto as I know you have two XJ men. So like Darko, I like, I like his offense. I think he runs real. I think you even see it in a game like this when he has very little talent. Yeah. Like they, they just have really heavy movement. They play mm-hmm. five out. It's just good ball, and like you understand why RJ was was just excelling in this in this kind of environment. You just see it. Mm-hmm. This is a perfect environment for him. You got cutters and shooters everywhere. Olinix setting him up. The whole paint is his. Yeah, it's it's very just, player friendly. Very yeah. player friendly. And they had they had Jonte Porter. So if anybody gambled, he'd make them pay. Yeah, <laughs> I thought you were gonna be serious for a second because Dante at least was like a theoretical stretch. No, he also. was. He was stretching the floor out. Yeah, uh, but also <laughs> betting unders and leaving games early to yes. make money. <laughs> so I'm not sure. I think it balances out. <laughs> not ideal. All right, guys, I'm definitely not gonna play enough minutes tonight. <laughs> That's funny. Oh man, That's a crazy. Honestly. I don't know how much money he made. You heard S, you know, on the pregame with Andrew S. Bar- uh, Barhaney, who's the man. Yeah, was saying like his. He thought, and he's you know he's actually with the team and pretty close. With, and he has relationships there. Like he thought they were going to sign him off of his two way to like a real NBA contract. That's crazy, so, man. That was going to make millions of dollars. <laughs> and I don't know how much he was making on this betting scheme. It could be millions of dollars theoretically. I don't know what he was, but like. That's a crazy decision to make. That's absolutely yeah, crazy. It, when oh, you're yeah. a young NBA player who's showing some promise, that is, I guess, not, you know, the investigation isn't conclusive yet. I don't want, but certainly Listen, seems like he's a Gen Z first, Gen Z over being an NBA player. So he's going to, you know, he's going to get on his crypto schemes. He's going to get on his, uh, his betting schemes. That's what they do. I mean, Christ. the angle I was thinking is that, um, I'm shocked because it's an NBA athlete, but I'm not shocked because it's Michael Porter Jr.'s brother. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where I'll leave it. Man, oh man. He's talented though, man. It's like it's crazy. And he had a spot. Like I mean That's what I mean. It's like I you know, I would understand it if it was freaking Ryan Archidiakono or something. Like there's really no future for you to have an NBA role. But like this guy yeah. was on the verge. <laughs> Yeah, I think he had a major knee surgery or something like that, and that may have changed his his mindset. Like you really don't know how much how this long year he did in this game. No, not this year, but oh. re- but like in his, I think when he was at 
when at college or something like that. But it's like secure the bag and then do your scheme. Like, you know, like <laughs> Yeah, get your guaranteed contract and then well it, they obviously would have avoided it for being for being really stupid. I mean, I mean get paid like until they're like, Yeah, you're out of here or you're close to out of here and then do it, you know? Ooh. That was dirty by Kelly. Yeah. That was always the thing with steroids in baseball was like guys did it to make their first contract. Mm-hmm. Like Robinson Cano, like I don't know what he would have been without steroids. I'm sure he was a very talented player, but like the guy made a gazillion dollars <laughs> off his first contract because he was taking steroids. So like worth it, man. Like oh, I geez. get that. I am not I, I, as much as I w- wish he wouldn't have and like the guys wouldn't cheat the sport. Like damn, he made a gazillion dollars set up him and his ge- and future generations for life because yeah. he made cuz this is the opposite. <laughs> this is like you're putting it all at risk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's bizarre. Risk all the money for a little bit of the money. Why is this a 70 yeah. point game? Yeah. This is ridiculous. That's what I'm saying. Oh, what a pass oh, by Josh. Josh. Passing the ball tonight. Nice that play. Was an awesome pass. Man, we haven't had a pick and roll big like this since who Tyson Chandler? Maybe well, turnover. Mitchell Robinson was awesome in the pick and roll, but we didn't really Can use I see him. that again. I want to see that again because I think Dante was going to blow up a DHO, and that's what caused that. Dante loves to blow up your little DHOs to start possessions. I love that. Maybe that's why Sacramento barely ran any DHOs for Sabonis, which is weird, or with Sabonis, I should say. Oof. Can't believe he missed that. That was like a gimme. Yep. I'm sorry. Why no, open Grady? That's Ooh. a good job by Deuce. Very good job running him off. Great move. Yep. And it's 17. All so right. So Grady is... Dick only has points. <laughs> he has zero, zero, everything else. Yeah. Zero, everything. <laughs> it's just points. 86 to 69 for short the dick led toronto what am i uh, what am i crazy cash seven of those for deuce mcbride is on freaking automatic <laughs> oh good d oh now we're off oh yeah we're gonna, get a, we're gonna get a josh hart dunk or not oh interesting fuck sure. it We'll take three over two. Speaking of LA Fitness GMAC, this let's kick it out like the three. Ago. <laughs> oh, man. Grinding for good. Dick has some kind of juice. I don't know what kind it is, but. Oh, what I was going to say earlier about uh, Mitch, like you, you said, it's such a good game for Mitch to come back, and I totally agree. <laughs> and I think they're taking the opposite approach with OG. Like OG doesn't need to like yeah, ramp yeah. up. Like he's yeah. fine. He's like ready to go. And it's like, why would we play him in these games when let him rest up and hopefully heal that thing and come back for games that actually we might lose. Yep. So that's yeah, a great I point. Hope, I hope to see him back um Sunday in OKC. If he's not back by OKC, I might get a little worried, but I, I think that's what I think they looked at the schedule and they said we have nobody we need to yep. worry about. Let's give OG however yep. many that's um, what I said right away. I thought he'd be back Sunday. We'll see. But hopefully that's the case. I'm so excited for that game. If OG comes back for that now. game. And he's warming up now. So he's traveling with the team. He's warming up. He's good. He just needs, you know, they're just trying to keep him healthy for as long as possible. And then, of course, he has this contract he needs to sign in the summer. So his health is paramount. Man, Hornets up one on Cleveland with 7-16 to go. Oh, my gosh. Let's go. The Nets are up four on the suddenly streaking Washington Wizards in a, in a game of epic proportions. <laughs> the Warriors are up six on Orlando. Love that. There we go. Sixers beating the Clips. Speaking of the Clippers, geez. They've been Clippers have, the Clippers have 53 points in the third quarter. We're two minutes into the third quarter. 55-53 oh Sixers. The Hawks are beating the pivot Trailblazers 80-64. to the Lakers are beating the Grizzlies 62 to 57. And the Bulls are demolishing your Indiana Pacers 56 to 39. Mama. My Indiana Pacers. <laughs> man. Mama. Halliburton. Tale of two cities. That field. guy, man. It's. Yeah. This, you see, Tyrese Halliburton is probably the. The NBA just put out a report this year that load management doesn't work. And 
here we have Tyrese Halliburton, who is on pace to be first team all NBA, came back too early, not being load managed properly, apparently, and he's terrible now, which is I, I, weird. I want to say real quick to that. You cannot put out like there's no study that will prove that load management doesn't yeah, work. Yeah, like like how That's do you ridiculous? How the body everybody's body is different. Everyone's different. It's not there's no study you can have, and there's definitely no proof that you can have. Like you can have evidence that suggests that load management is not as effective as they thought it would might be in certain circumstances. That's like the extent to which you can draw a conclusion about a study like that. <laughs> so mm. it was propaganda by the NBA. Definitely. And and now look at the Clippers. Load management doesn't work. Guys, they've been load management. NBA for years. does nothing nefarious. They didn't give any directives to referees. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Every, wow, Olympic I actually kind of like that Adam Silver. Adam Silver is like, wow, ouch, everyone wow. easy. You see, Don't this is why hurt. if you last name Freeman Liberty, hurt <laughs> Isaiah Hartenstein. Benji with the like side freedom liberty. <laughs> I will your freedom liberty will be in jail. I will jail you. You will have no freedom and no liberty. <laughs> freedom yeah. liberty. Let's this see. is this is why you don't like to play your your stars against teams with guys who are like fighting for contracts because mm -hmm. they are playing with literal reckless abandon. It's yep. no worse than playing against the heat on any given night. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Damn, is that any good? Yeah, yeah, I think that's pretty good. It looks solid. Oh boy, another Grady dick. back door. You know, it's funny. I don't want even Chenzo on a guy like Grady Dick because he gambles too much, and he's like, he, he, it's not like the chaser role is not perfect for him. Great observation. Yeah. Yeah. Dick's too crafty. Wrong, Wrong matchup. Crafty. <laughs> I'd actually rather have Brunson on Dick, honestly. Yeah, just just face guard him. Just play him straight yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Because yep. he's you know like like Devo is just he's <laughs> he gets kind of wild sometimes. What did you call him? Over anxious. What did you call him? Months the last time he showed me. Overzealous Devin Chenzo. Over overzealous Devin <laughs> Chenzo. Get out of oh, here! What are you? What are you? Are you man. kidding what? me? What was that, Josh? A, he got fouled. <laughs> Dude, is that roughing the passer? <laughs> yeah, in today's NFL, of course. <laughs> <laughs> in today's nfl absolutely rough in the past here that's amazing yes biz we're recording tomorrow yes sir let's go casual friday let's go finally a nick's off day on a thursday jim dolan conspired against us <laughs> i don't actually mean that jim if you're listening <laughs> please oh, there he is he is listening he's got Loves KFS everywhere. watch alongs yeah <laughs> oh I see a Josh Hart one pass away. Exactly. Not as, not as effective. I was about to say the same thing, Benji. Josh Hart one pass away from Brunson at the top is just like an invitation. Like, please go double him. <laughs> Which, by the way, is like the, I would say, the most common alignment when Julius Randle's in. Mm -hmm. is one He plays that left wing while Jalen's on the right wing, and I would think about varying that if and when Julius is back. 100%. The problem is that there's weakness. There's disadvantages to like wherever you put them. Like if you put Josh Hart in the corner, they're going to help so hard off of him um, and just pack the paint. So like, where do you put Josh Hart? Yeah. I mean, well, depends what, what, what the coverage is, but they, that's why the Knicks like to screen with him a lot. Right. So you, you put yeah. him in that position where he's rolling into space, at least maybe he's running. They like to do that at times. Um, it depends on what, what scheme you're facing, but like, mm -hmm. I, it, and I would say you should vary it a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. But, but when you have like a late clock situation and Josh is one pass away, I think you just exchange out of it. And mm -hmm. yeah, you're not going to get the roll necessarily if you set a pick and roll and someone will be waiting for Jalen in the paint that's helping off that corner. Mm -hmm. But at least you're get, he get he's able to access the paint in the first place, get to his mid-range game, right? Makes sense. Yeah. So really like quick, he, I just want to do a reset. Um, yeah. Knicks are up 94-73 uh, with midway through the third quarter with 5.53 left in the game. Right now, the Knicks are on cruise control and the Raptors are doing too much. And we are here to chronicle the rest of the game with you guys. All right, you can jump back in, Benji. No, I, I said my piece. I said it. I'm done. <laughs> okay. All right. Because yeah, GMA I Actually, I want to tweet yeah. out my roughing the passer call because I think it's funny. It is. That was a great call. <laughs>
I like the the interaction because I wasn't looking at the playback chat. A GMS heat telling us to reset and Mensa hitting him with the, I'm trying, Jennifer. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> uh, let's see what's going on in YouTube chat. What is going on over here? No. I will not give it up for them because they're not young and they're not old. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. I don't approve. Of, I don't approve of middle-aged dancers. Your appropriate age dancing. From earlier, Mike Boy had said aunties are often amazing dancers. I didn't recognize that. So you learned. Nah, these were like things. they were like in their fifties, fifty plus. It was fifties. Yeah, I'm trying or to be seventies. Nice. I'm trying. To be nice. <laughs> It was disturbing <laughs> as hell. Benji <laughs> called them day after nuggets. So <laughs> next day nuggets, I should say. I was I was honestly worried for everybody's hip up there. <laughs> I was very worried. <laughs> I was I was gonna make a bad joke, but I'm not going to because I want Agbaji's hip to be okay. Okay. We will leave that right where it stands. I it was a non joke. That's what just happened. They put fruit. Oh, that's so nice. They left fruit. That for is them? really nice. Wow. First class organization, the Toronto Raptors. I know if you do the Knicks might look like an old hot dog for you. That's very sweet. And those uh those and they go and they'd ask Benji for his uh kids leftover nuggets. <laughs> Leave those <laughs> for you. Oh, that's a great pass. Oh, what a pass. That was like a Luca pass. Oh, Mitch. Wow. Look, his hands are slippery or something yeah, today. Yeah, he's, too. Not, he's not catching the ball here right now. <laughs> Cook, okay, here we go. What, what I'll say, Grady Dick has absolutely no chance on Jalen Brunson. Like negative chance. Nah, he's he's wanting help at all times. Yeah, see, I like Deuce on Grady. I like that better. Yeah, shout out GMAC. I got Mitch is back in for a second stint. Liberty Freedom. Gosh, it's not even his name, Benji. Jeez. It's something, something, Freeman Liberty. <laughs> something, something. Boondocks for three. Exactly. What did I do? I just reversed it? Yeah, you reversed it. Oh, uh, that's my bad. No, <laughs> it's just funny. <laughs> I don't know what his name is. <laughs> here's the here's the uh, blitz. Gets Dante that, uh, DiVincenzo a wide open corner yeah, three. Probably not the outcome there. you want. Not what you want. This is the worst defensive performance I think I've ever seen. <laughs> It's pretty bad. It's up there. And that includes the Knicks against OKC last year at a KFS watch party, which was pretty horrendous. Oh, I remember that. That was terrible. I mean, yeah, I the Fournier Rose minutes. Yeah. I think they scored 150. Oh, no. Quick. Oh, he's going to break his own record. What does he have? Five again? Also, how close is he to the record now? He's pretty close. DiVincenzo has five threes. What was it? What did he need to get to Fournier? Oh, I don't, I don't know what the, what the, uh, eight. What he needs Grady teams. never misses from that corner. Oh, he just did. Good box, Jalen. All right. Well, that's an interesting pass there. That Joshua. was very ambitious. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that was terrible. Tibbs is going to call a timeout now. It's unacceptable. And we didn't get back either. Timeout. Yeah, that looked bad. It just looked bad and it felt bad. Also, I'm okay if like Jalen sits the rest of the game, even though he won't, but I. I'm good with that. It would be nice if he sat the rest of the game. Let's get All some right. shake Milton minutes. What do we think is Jalen Brunson's last minute going to be in this game? I'm going to say five minutes left in the fourth quarter. Yeah, he's going to bring him back in for the last in. Look at yeah. Mitch. <laughs> Kelly Olenek has no chance on That's either a, of these guys. Such a bad matchup for those guys having to deal with Mitchell Robinson. Raptors are like, let's bring in some more skinny guys to help him out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Kelly Olenek just looks like he he plays like bass guitar for somebody's like 2005 indie band. <laughs> He's from Seattle. I'm a basketball player. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I play bass. <laughs> I, I played pickup the other day with this guy who was like a skateboarder. And uh, we had nine and we just like, dude, please play. He's like, all right. He kind of looks <laughs> oh, like Kelly Olenek. Look at Mitch. <laughs> Bro. Mitch is eating these guys. Don't look say at, it. Look at, there's it. the outfit. There's anything. the outfit, Benji. <laughs> oh my god! You got to see the pants when he stands up. I don't oh know what he was thinking. God. 
and he, he's freshly shaven too. He just looks like pretty insane tonight. Like, I'm, I don't I, know. I think they. I like before I saw those pants, I thought they only put that shade of burgundy on cars. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. Like, it, it's like. Tosh Hart won't pass away. Ain't nothing yeah. there. It's bad. It's bad. Ugh, I can't stand that. Oh, oh no reason to do that, yeah, Brunson. Jalen, why, man? You're Can up 24 not... points. Ugh. As David Crockett in. Oh, wait, wait, we're down. Uh oh. Looking like. Ooh. We got Hornets alert. Yeah, I really want the Hornets to win this game. Yikes. Why are you doing this, Brunson? Just get out the way. I'm tie game. Tie game. Tie game. Tie game. 111, 111. Oh, they, man. Will I they get a four point play? How'd they score four points so fast? It's kind of looks like a bad Michael Jackson impersonator. <laughs> yeah. Like a, a, a 2025 Michael Jackson impersonation. Look at how different it is when Devin Chen's is one pass away. Bitch. <laughs> yes, absolutely, actually. That would have oh. never been able to happen. That's what I mean, right? And it's like, now you access the paint. Yeah, there's someone waiting, but you can make something happen there, mm -hmm. right? Because Simmons is on Josh Hardy's in the paint. Okay. Much better. But, but at least you break down the defense. Absolutely, much better. It Jim also Max gives Josh Hart an opportunity for offensive rebounds as well. Absolutely. Although he gets him from the wing, too. Sometimes yeah, he flies in. <laughs> but better from the corner. Garland is hurt, according to GMAC. Oh, my gosh. Really? Bad GMAC? Like, bad? What kind of injury? They let Grant William foul the shit out of Garland on that play. He hurt his ankle. Wow. Like a twist or like a, I gotta like go a to bad the, go to the twist tweets. kind of ankle? Yeah, There's Mitchie. Garland. Yeah, stepped on foot. All right, it'll be all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> He's staying in the game. Oh, man, oh, okay. J.K. Simmons is back. Wow! That was extremely short. What's the score, Mensa? Hornets take the lead. Yes. Brandon Miller. Yes, sir. 111, 111, 113, Charlotte. Yes. Oh, man. We need that. This would be huge. Crazy. We need that. And by the way, like we're talking about Precious before. If they get to this three seed somehow, and I don't believe the two seeds are really a thing. I know Milwaukee blew a terrible game last night, but I don't buy that. I think they've been really good in the second half, even though they still do some weird things sometimes. I agree. Um, Precious Achua and what he did to keep that team just a couple games under 500, like during that stretch, like they just eked out enough mm -hmm. to hang in that race. Like that, he's such going to be such an unsung hero. I mean, he is anyway, but like if yeah. they can nab that three seed, like not Huge. going three and 15 in that stretch and going whatever they went was like huge. Yeah. Cause it, getting the three seed means you don't have to think about Boston for two rounds. Yeah, you, you, know? you think about that. You think about that Indiana game they never should have won. Um, like there were just a couple games there that like they just found a way. You guys think the Knicks could beat Milwaukee in a seven game series? Ooh, that'd be that'd be seven games to me. That's Everybody healthy. Happens. Everybody's healthy. Everybody's healthy. I wouldn't pick them if I was being objective, but that I don't. I don't. I think that's a series. I would pick them in seven. You would. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we're talking a healthy OG, healthy Hardenstein, healthy them Randall. Every other team, including healthy a Mitch. healthy Sixers, I think I'd pick them over. But I, I, so, I yeah. So the thing is, oh, high pass and a dunk. Mitch! We have guys to put on their guys, and they don't have an answer for Jalen Brunson. <clears throat> Are you going to put Giannis on him? Because you can't put Bees on him. You can't put Middleton on him. You damn sure can't put Dame on him. They put Middleton and he's uh, averaging like 37 Evo, a game against them this season. What is this? <laughs> he's so stumbling, he bumbling, so bumbling, bumbling, tumbling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rumbling, bumbling, stumbling, DiVincenzo. <laughs> there he goes. Bo, bo, bo. Stumbling, bumbling, jumbling. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> sound like Chris Berman. <laughs> That's what I'm going for. <laughs> I would push a little bit against the idea that we have someone to put on Giannis. Now, nobody really does. Um, and an Obi could get in the way. You know what? Honestly, can I be honest with you? I forgot about OG. You're damn right, we do. We do. Have <laughs> I was gonna say, go to I, I wanted to see where you were going with this, Benji. I was literally like, I forgot, don't know. Literally forgot, forgot. OG existed for a second. The freaking key to the world, the key to everything. He is the OG key to the city. Like the key we have a home. To yes, the Andrew. city. What was I talking about? OG. I was like, if if we don't, then nobody does. I guess. Yeah. I, was I like, thought that's where you were saying. I've that's this, where you're going. I, I'm so used to having this Milwaukee conversation. And oh. Like, Sometimes they put Julius on him. Sometimes they put the center on him, and they've mixed that up. And, like, what's better? And I'm like, oh, we have OG. We have OG so fun. and Mitch. We can throw Mitch at him. We can throw Precious at him. We can throw OG Precious at him. Precious is another one you could, you could, you could yeah. Man, you know you could argue the Knicks are, like, the best equipped to deal with Giannis, honestly. Yeah, forget I said anything. <laughs> and then and Dame is, like, deuce. He's... Oh, Dame... and the save. Dame is deuce McBride all day. He's still, he Dame like is still good. The team's like excellent. for sure, but wow, Joshua, Joshua welcome to the party. Up three, but on defense, he's a make traffic call. 29 cone. tries. No, that's a lie, something like that. <laughs> How did it get? It's still one. That's a walk. 111. Good D, Mitch. Look at him. Move those Great feet, Mitch. Defense. Move wow, those feet. He just... That's awesome, Mitch. Now, keep in mind, that was Jalen McDaniels, who has no bag. <laughs> still look good. <laughs> yeah, still was good. I'm not taking away anything extreme from this game, but Mitch looks good. He looks good enough. I'm happy he's back. He's making First game back. Ugh. Oh, that good defense. Straight there line drive to the basket. Dude, dude, you were going to score. This defense is so bad. The craziest <laughs> defensive performance I've ever seen. Oh. Uh. Do the Raptors score 100? And I, by I, the way, like I Detroit so. on uh, Monday was was pretty bad. That was a standard to set. Yeah, yeah, it's a high it's a high bar to to cross here. And uh, <laughs> why are we still playing bowl? The Brooklyn Nets and Washington Wizards are headed to overtime. <laughs> Nobody is excited <laughs> about that, dude. That team is streaking. Yeah, the Wizards. Yeah, you make Jordan fun. Poole, baby. Thirty six point seven rebounds, eight assists. My guys what? alive. <laughs> oh, I wanted that one. He had a chance. Oh, no. Don't be hurt, Goosey. Ugh, I don't like that. So, at the end of three, the Knicks lead the Toronto Raptors 111-80. to 80. This game is over. <laughs> I do hope that they don't play their starters for the rest of the game, but Please stick with us, though. Uh, Benito, <laughs> yeah, is sure. the coach. Please stay with us. We're still having a great freaking time. Fourth quarter on be playback. <laughs> Sponsored by Dante Porter and FanDuel. <laughs> uh, I could hear your hesitancy to say that one, Ben. <laughs> you know, I was um thinking. Oh, to drop four. Forty-seven seconds left. Yep. Yep. This is exciting. We're gonna we're gonna take the lead. We're gonna take that third seed. Oh, there it is. There it hey. is. Oh my God. God. Yeah, like, we, can, we don't even coverage. have to go back to the fourth quarter to be honest. Like we could just bonus stay on coverage. Here. It's, don't say that. We got, people, stay with us. We're still watching Knicks. We love the Knicks. Come on. <laughs> that game's over. <laughs> you guys are both just like, the game's we're, over. We're Get now all the watch... out. Let's forget about this game. Let's watch other games. That's... <laughs> oh, my God. You see, this move this by all night. Edwards? you see this move by Anthony Edwards? I have not. No. He pivoted nine times in the paint. <laughs> he learned that Without traveling? Russell. KP, KP, no, no travel. KP just sent it out. You guys got to watch this. All right. I got to see. I got to see this defensive possession from this awesome half court defense first. Hard time getting it in. What I'm are you doing, Karis? What are you doing, Karis? He doesn't know. Come on. He has no idea. He traveled. Oh, he traveled. Wow. He traveled. They called yes. it. Yes. They got him. Yes. Let's go. Steph just hit a dagger in Orlando. Dagger as in the game ender, the sleepy time or what? Nap time? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I just saw defense. the move. Oh, my goodness. The Anthony Edwards move? I yes. know, man. That's, that's, a, that's a Brunson. It's even more than that. I've never seen Brunson make like seven of those. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. Meet each dagger. Oh, they're trapped. Literally Michich. made the sleepy they got nothing time. For him. <laughs> oh, my God. That pass was dangerous. Come on, baby. Yeah, Come Brandon. on, Brandon. Yeah, Brandon! Yeah. 
B Mill. <laughs> you see, you hear my guy in the back going crazy. That's it, baby. This is game time. Wow. This is game time. Can Big dub in Charlotte. Everything is coming up next. Big right. dub in Buzz City. Go back, go back, go back. We got to catch this fourth quarter. It's intense out there. <laughs> wow, huge win, huge win. All right, so the Knicks, the Knicks are going to be one game back, right? Wow. No, How the Knicks that? are going to take the. Oh, they're going to be tied or take the lead. No, no, Andrew. Chris McBride is running a pick and roll. <laughs> Oh, why is feeling it? Come on, he should not wow. be feeling it. Josh Hart, man, just takes it away. <laughs> just shoot, strongest bro, just hands in the league. There it is. Yeah, bogey. All right, bogey. This is bogey's that's type of game, man. Need. He's just that's running up and need. down. He's getting his shots up. No, no pressure. No defense needed. <laughs> that's why he played so well in Detroit. Oh, yeah. No so, comment. <laughs> Orlando's going to lose. It's a good night in the Knicks land. That's Just amazing. no one get hurt. Just no one get hurt. Get everyone out of the game, Thomas. Oh, he almost went with the no dip, too. All go. right, Bogey's getting a rhythm. Hey, Dude, grinding it, for good. I agree. Is it a 36-point game? Am I, am I, is my math bad? That is 36 points. So what the hell is anyone doing in this game? I'm serious. Tibbs. I really – maybe it? a couple more minutes is justified, but, like, that's really it, man. He's not going to bench guys with Jake like Milton 10 at minutes the scores left in the table. Oh, good. That's not like to see. He's listening to me. Is Shake up? I think you keep Deuce out there to have, you know, it's fine, but like everyone else, sit. Yeah, that's why Dante's getting him up with reckless abandon. He doesn't want Deuce to break his record? No, because he knows he's coming out the game. Oh, that's true. Oh, that's a bad foul. Oh, boy. I wanted. Man, I really wanted McBride to break the record. He's going to finish with seven threes. Wasn't even close. Not even close. Yeah, Honestly, this second quarter killed him. Arguable, around. disappointing performance. <laughs> want to see? Yeah, I want to get more out of that guy. He got 23.7 of 12 from three, uh, plus 29, six assists, one steal. No shade. Glorified Alec Burks. <laughs> <laughs> Trash. <laughs> hey! there's, shake. there's shake if he plays well brooks may be sitting on the pie <laughs> the next next week you know tonight's when the knicks are going to go a half game up on the cleveland Cavaliers. What? they go yeah. a half game up but they were only half game back yeah yeah right right now i didn't realize um, that we're 43 we'll sole possession of They're, the number three seed. Oh, the Raptors in a two-three zone because nothing else has worked. <laughs> Bogey with the flasher. Yeah, and a good pass. Just really bad defense. I mean, it is. It is. <laughs> Get Josh Hart out of there too. Swiss cheese would be a would be a compliment. Like Swiss cheese puts up a fight. It's disrespectful to Swiss cheese. It, this is, that's what I really meant to say. I got you. This is like next day cheese. Yeah. The, the country of Switzerland is sending us an, an A lot of food letter. being left out overnight is, uh, with this Toronto team. Nuggets and cheese. <laughs> the country of Switzerland. <laughs> Very angry. I don't even think I ever appreciated that Swiss cheese was, was Switzerland. <laughs> I what? somehow just like never, put that, I never put that. I don't think I ever put that together. <laughs> We have absolutely Swiss cheese. It's <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's a fair point. I we have... I think I probably knew of Swiss cheese before I knew of the country. Oh, I see. I see so how it that just works. Never associated in my mind. Yeah, they have, that was they... all Swiss cheese from Switzerland. That's no, fair. I don't think so. I mean, it's called Gruyere what cheese makes as it well. Swiss? Is it just what the hell am I looking at? Jesus. <laughs> uh, I'm so excited for this OKC game on Sunday. <laughs> They're in a dog fight, huh? Okay, see, yeah, they're in a dog fight with the. They're in a back to back. They had a hard game against uh, New Orleans. She, she's not playing, so it doesn't really count. But dude, Zion, Zion with space is a monster. And I'm sorry, Brandon Ingram. I feel like that he's the odd man out there because when you put spacing around, if Brandon Ingram went back to like four years ago. Brandon Ingram, he'd be a perfect fit, but he doesn't want to shoot threes anymore. He's clogging up the the, the yeah. paint for Zion. That's but listen, it almost. 
feels like it almost feels like you have Ingram's like their security blanket because like who knows they're getting from Zion. So at least you always have Ingram there Mm -hmm. and he does his thing and he's good at what he does. And like, even if he's not an elite creator, he's like, he's a good floor player, you know, like he does. He's a good floor player and he gives them a floor, but he doesn't give them their max ceiling. I I agree with you, but like, can you, can you build around Zion confidently enough to like make him the guy and the only guy? Mm, I I don't know if you have the evidence to be able to do that. I think they're stuck. My perfect trade. Darius Garland for Brandon Ingram. Hmm. Perfect yeah, that's fair. Guys. I mean, uh, and I mean, CJ, CJ is obviously older, but he's played really, really well offensively this year. Yeah, but he's, you know, out with the old and with the new. Yeah, no, it's fair. I think it's a reasonable deal. Uh, I mean, New Orleans would ask for more, I think. No, I think Cleveland asked for more. You think so? Yeah. I think Cleveland thinks they're good with the better player in that deal. They're giving up a guy who's younger um, on team control. Brandon Ingram is a free agent after this season. He can walk. And I'm Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not giving you more than Darius Garland. Yeah, and so even the fit for Ingram in Cleveland, I don't think is ideal. For the same reasons as as his fit in New Orleans might not be ideal. Uh, we're coming back 118 88. The Knicks are up, actually, make it 120. As Boyan is getting off, yes, Boyan is getting off, and Dick is out of the game. This is great. Nope, Dick is not out of the game. Dick's in the corner. Boyan's about to get off on Dick, is what's gonna happen if they, oh, if, they if they make Grady guard him, is what I'm saying. Oh, no, Shake Milton getting beat back door for an M1. He's out. <laughs> Bring it, Brunson. <laughs> it's not Shake, over folks Shake must not realize what he needs to do to get minutes it ain't this and the foul to make it worse busy I asks mean, Pacers or Heat in the first round who would you want Pacers Heat is easier man I, 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 the Heat are not a good team yeah but the Heat will hurt somebody <laughs> At least the paces right. you're getting and, out and, of it. And Patty, and Patty Mills, who hasn't made a three in like three weeks, will go like 13 for 17 in the series. <laughs> yep. They work their magic. That's wow. Good there. Wow. <laughs> Olenek pushing it up the court just to throw it out of bounds. Beautiful. I just like I just want to end the heat stuff. So I agree with you, Busy. I just want to like just sweep them and be like, yeah, this is this is over. We're not worried about this team anymore. Ow! Whoa! And he pulls he it. Split. Same team. Yo, know, no one even went for that rebound, and Precious was like surprised <laughs> that nobody was there to contest him, and he just dropped it. Well, Shame. Deuce went for it. They were the only two that Yeah, there were two Knicks and like Olinick and Dick were just like looking at it. <laughs> oh like, man. We've had it, we've had it, we've had enough of this. <laughs> wow, that pass made it out. Look at Precious. Look at Precious. Touchdown. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, that was an OB leak. <clears throat> Here's Dick on Boyan. There's my my 17% shooter jacking him up. I still love to see you that. You want him as a backup five for us, uh, actually? <laughs> yeah. Eight Absolutely. of them. Oh, the record's still in jeopardy. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, he's still out there. We got time. Of course he's still more. out there. <laughs> he's going to he be out there the rest of the game. <laughs> Wow. It's funny when that you're in eight for thirteen from three. What in the world? <laughs> it's always funny that in Tibbs' rotation, you can somehow be a starter and a garbage time player. There's always a guy yes. like that. Yes. <laughs> we got Josh Hart and Deuce McBride out there. Boyan, yo, Boyan, Boyan's getting off. See, <sighs> let's go. I'm not gonna say it. I'm just gonna be nice to Boyan tonight. <laughs> what were you gonna say? Boyan's cooking. Uh, yeah, what, what? Oh, you're yeah. gonna say that he's this is this is Detroit basketball culture. Is that he's cooking? Is? He's cooking. 
He's cooking. That's all well, I got to say. Four or five from three, seven Look of 11 that. overall. Two assists, That's... no turnovers, plus 14. Just big three after big three. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to say he's a front runner? <laughs> this kid's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Crushing it. All right. Knicks up 128 to 91 in Toronto. Seven and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. We're having a great time. Just enjoying a, a easy Knicks coast to a victory. The really good news that we've heard all night. A Cleveland Cavaliers loss, a Orlando Magic loss. Um, Deuce McBride shooting the lights out. Awesome return from Mitchell Robinson. A really good 12 minutes. Played extremely well. Seemed like, you know. He's got to get in a little better condition, but he, he looks good overall. Everything's been been up for the Knicks tonight. Yeah. It really has been. One thing that I wanted to, since this three seed is looking to be more um, realistic, uh, one thing I wanted to talk about was early on when we played the, and we played them re- a lot early, the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, Dame wasn't challenged defensively. He was allowed to rest on Quentin Grimes, who really couldn't find his offense. Mm-hmm. Not going to be the case this time around with Dante DiVincenzo being the hottest three-point shooter in basketball. Um, well, and one of the hottest, the other guy being Miles McBride. Um, so I really think we match up really well for them because Dame's a traffic cone and he can't stop any of our guards. All of our guards are officially going to give him trouble. And then we can throw a, a lot of different looks at him. And then, of course, we have the looks that we can throw at Giannis. So I don't know. I think... I think we still one of the first two, and that changes the complexion of the series if we play them. I would honestly, I, I this may sound crazy, but just considering Milwaukee's lack of depth, I know depth matters less the deeper you get into the playoffs. But I think the Knicks could beat them in six games. I do six games. Yeah, I wow. think the Knicks will close it out in six. I love the confidence. Let me let me push back a little bit on the defensive side. So like, I hear you, Dante is obviously shooting the ball great, but like, I don't think hiding Lillard on Dante. Is going to like kill you. Like he'll give up a few threes. Dante will attack some closeouts, but like I think you can. If you're the Bucks, you can live with that matchup. And then the question becomes like, okay, so Brunson, yeah, you put Beasley on him. Beasley's gonna at least fight to get over stuff. And similar to the Celtic strategy, it's like you play drop. You got Giannis and Brook in the paint. You live with Brunson mid range wizardry, mm-hmm. and you hope to limit everything else. Like that'll be the Buck strategy. Especially Doc Rivers team, like they're they're always he's always conservative scheme guy, like that's what it'll be. <clears throat> yep. And I I think the Knicks will score on him. I just I'm not convinced it'll be as easy as as you're making it sound. Mess, I guess is what I'm saying. I don't, well, I I mean I don't think it's gonna be like a cakewalk, of course. But it's been easy for Brunson. That's the first thing. It's been I mean we it was different coach at the time, but Brunson is averaging I think like 36, 37 points a game against them this season. They haven't been able to solve him. And even though they have a different coach, the personnel is different. I think maybe Pat Bev is there now, but so what? He's um, injured too, by the way. <clears throat> yeah. So I think that the re what I was really the defensive thing for for Dame Lillard is that he was able to rest on defensive possessions yeah. with Quentin Grimes on the court. It's not going to be like that with Dante DiVincenzo, and that's all that I'm really trying to point out is that he's going to have to work for it on defense, yeah. which should give him some attrition in a seven game series against a, a New York Knicks team. So I think it won't be like that's an advantage that we have now that we did not have when we first played them. I think the Knicks have gotten better since the, the we've last seen the Milwaukee Bucks and I don't and I'm not confident saying that the Bucks are a better team than when we last saw them. So and then of course just the the defense, man. We're going to have I mean Mitchell Robinson is going to have trouble with Brooke Lopez, but that's why you have Isaiah Hartenstein. Um I think we match up really well with him. I do. And if Julius Randle is giving you anything you know, that just gives you another look. Julius Randle, more than anything else, I don't, I don't, because he's going to be going up against Giannis and Brook in the paint. I think his value was going to be. Whoa. He wanted, to dunk, he wanted to dunk that so bad. Give me that shake. Hey, hey. shake Milton with the three. You're going to have Next a lot of up. points in this game, guys. It's Next 133 wow. with 620 to go. <laughs> Man. But yeah, just getting back to the point here. Um, I think the biggest value that Julius Randle would give us in a Milwaukee Bucks series is his ability to allow Jalen Brunson to play off ball because that yeah. just gets the best out of Jalen Brunson. I'm not too worried about Julius Randle going crazy against 
Giannis and Bobby Portis and Brooke Lopez. I think they're they're good defensive front for a guy like Julius Randle. But I think just allowing Brunson to play off ball, not have to initiate everything against Milwaukee is going to be very key. So I like our, I like our chances against them. The Bucks have been underwhelming all year, and yeah, I think we beat them in six. Oh. I do. Oh, shake, 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 and shake, and bacon. Let's have some offensive game. I just want to say, um, I, I, you know, and you did mention this, Mensa. I, I don't think the Bucks have been underwhelming. I think their their depth has been underwhelming, and just wanted to point to the fact that their four man lineup of uh, Lillard, Giannis, Beasley, and Brooke Lopez over two thousand three hundred possessions. This is a pretty big sample size. Is plus thirteen point four have an elite offense and an elite defense, what, giving up 107.8 points per 100 possessions, which would be 96 percentile per clean in the glass. So they've been elite on both ends of the ball as long as those four guys have been on the court, whether it's with Middleton, whether it's with Crowder, whether it's with Connaughton, it doesn't really matter. They're elite with all those different types of uh, lineups. So, um, and, yeah, and, and again, I think, I, on the defensive side of the ball as well. Yeah, and I think Compton yeah, has um, has has found his game a little bit uh, since Doc came. So, and I I, tr- I actually think he's a, he's a solid player, and I think he'll be good for them in the playoffs. I agree. Um, it has been before. I was just thinking <laughs> when Sims first checked in uh, against uh, Detroit, I was watching the the watch along with uh, Mac, um, G Mac, and DJ. <laughs> At first, I think they thought it was Jacob Toppin because of the hair. <laughs> And then DJ yeah. goes, oh, that Sims out there. New Harry, look at about 6'7". <laughs> I just died. I thought it was the funniest thing. Because <laughs> it looks like he lost two inches. It really does. It really does. He probably is actually 6'7". I don't, I, who knows how tall Jericho Sims actually is? Where does your head stop, sir? <laughs> how do they measure him at the combine? Do they just flatten his head out and just like put a... <laughs> wow. I'm Man, sorry. That would be it. so disrespectful if they were just patting it down. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be hilarious if they just, just like take put... a razor and shave like <laughs> one big like line I just, through it i just so i've been to like the doctor's office like where they measure you it's like a time when i was younger when i had longer hair and they did just literally just put the thing down and flatten my head i was like yo and they're just like yeah this is what else are we supposed to do here <laughs> so, this is for science kid <laughs> this is for science <laughs> <laughs> Oh Imagine yes, telling me that GMAC oh. gives us something to root for. Nick's record for points in the game is 152, and we are on pace, gentlemen. Whoa, whoa, we are on pace, more points. gentlemen. This is in a regulation game, right? GMAC deuces plus minus is plus 40. <laughs> oh, Deuce Ananobi. <laughs> They they're not gonna score with this with these guys out there though. Knicks? Yeah, I mean, look I do, who's out I, there. I don't care. I've watched this team play defense for the last forty four minutes. I could score on this team. Get me out there. <laughs> I'll I'm raid sure. threes on these boys. Toronto's they'll, not that. Give me the open ones. Also, he got shake in the game. He'll create. Oh man. Yeah, that's Shake, rough. Shake Poor Milton Dar- with his uh, wow. <clears throat> Shake Milton Premium with his Premium. whopping uh, minus four point four offensive EPM, fourth percentile in the NBA. Great. Okay, but he's got talent. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's for forty five games. It's forty five games, Tough. twelve minutes per game. Whoa! See, this is what I'm saying. I don't. Precious I don't Durant, see how dude. these teams can score. That's that was a KD stuff. little half spin pull up that would airballed. Precious was working on that with Chris Brickley and <laughs> Darko and Tibbs were like, yeah, not here. <laughs> he tried it once in practice. And Tibbs was like, Precious! <laughs> Don't ever do that again. He needs the he needs the Ewing speech. <laughs> you practice that shot? <laughs> that's a great, that's an amazing clip. <laughs> Every coach should just have that dialed up on the iPad. This is when they come back to the huddle, just like hand it to him. Watch this for a second. <laughs> Don't ever do that shit again. I can't say it better than Pat. Yeah, Take exactly. this here. Yeah. Take a listen. <laughs> what? I don't I don't even know what happened. I hope that nobody out of real team was defensive three.
Yo, Jericho's barely taller than Shake Milton without his hair. <laughs> oh man, no wonder he can move with these with these guards out there. He's basically a guard. Busy with a good question. Why can Do start next to Brunson, but IQ couldn't? Um, <laughs> oh shit, that's a really good question. Actually. Busy, busy. It's one thirty-five ninety, one thirty-eight ninety-five with four minutes left. Oh, uh, that's actually a good question, though. The vibes are immaculate right now. <laughs> that's true. That's true. I think the the honest answer is that he could start next to Jalen Brunson. We just well, no. I, I think he means why wouldn't Tibbs do it? Is you know. I mean, look, Tibbs wasn't going to start Deuce. Right. There you go. True. Like, <laughs> Deuce was behind Precious, guys. Yeah, like, yeah, that's very true. He he wanted he was starting Josh Hart, Precious Achua, and Isaiah Hartenstein, three non-shooting bigs. And well, two non-shooting bigs and Josh Hart. And yeah, look, I mean, I think we've seen like in the I think the year 2024 has been the most we've seen Tibbs grow as a coach in terms of just the things he's willing to try in terms of lineups and like the load management, which may not really be his choice. We go, Daquan. Wow. We go, They're not getting to 140. I'm yeah. sorry, Damn guys. They're not getting to right, 140. Actually, you called it. I thought Shake would take us there. Forget about the record. This is, God, this is tough. It. We're not going to hold them under 100, guys. That, this, no. this, this freaking C squad came in and blew and ruined everything. Ruined all the vibes. Let's just that, talk about is, IQ now. Ladies and gentlemen, is why we are happy. Just a tour running the offense. Jericho <laughs> Sims is not in the rotation anymore. Look, They're not getting talking. to 140. These guys man. are this is crazy. Up freaking grenades. Yeah, the, the Precious ran offense is insane. <laughs> it's crazy. Hey, featuring <laughs> Precious like he's KD. Uh, Precious Durant. Precious Durant. Pray Kevin deep. Arnett. Kevin, Kevin Arnett. Arnett. Evan Garnett. Shout out my guy, Evan Garnett, man. Evan Garnett is classic. <laughs> that is classic. I do hate that guy. No, I don't hate no. him as a person, obviously. <laughs> I just want everybody, I just want to be clear. I do not hate Evan Mobley as a person. I'm sure he's a really <laughs> great guy. But I hate his hype and he sucks. <laughs> yeah, no, he's way overhyped. Uh, Kevin Garnett. Evan Garnett, baby. Three for seven from the field. Ten points in 31 minutes when his team needed the most. <laughs> being, a, being a minus eight against the... Yo, will we get to 140? No, they're not getting to 140. <laughs> this is crazy. They've been stuck at 138 for like at least, at least three, four offense, minutes. Like a Jericho offensive rebound. Oh, he traveled, man. Yikes. This is it right here. Here's your guy. There's your guy. <laughs> There's your guy. Undo 40. Busy, I love you. I love you. I just don't have I just don't have it in me right now. To answer your question. Ask but Macri hope, this post Macri game. Does. I'm going to bed. We're not doing your dirty work for you, busy. <laughs> Every day the chef is gonna ask him post game. And Macri's going to lose his mind on <laughs> Yo, busy. If you yeah, if you uh, honestly, busy's gonna you, listen to it. Can you please super chat? Put it in right now, and I want to see John re just react to this question after a forty-point. We will win. all go right over to this. <laughs> yeah, I will. I, I think it will get top ratings of the post game in history. I'll let people know you're asking the question. Oh! 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 Hold up! Take me to the king! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I don't have much to bring. Oh God! Cocked it back. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's dirty. He cocked it back. Oh my god. Ooh. He gave him the oh my goodness. He said, Y'all traded me, right? Oh, you know, you know what that was? That was for all the fans to call him to call him CTE. <laughs> yeah. But sure. He oh, said, I got man. your concussion right here. 17 oh, and 12 goodness. with the nasty, nasty stuff. Ah, uh, freedom, liberty, freedom, liberty. And not him up. Himself. <laughs> hey, he heard us saying like, "Don't go to the precious offense." He said, "What?" There's still a chance. <laughs> still a chance for what? <laughs> Don't <laughs> That's just for him. I love that. Shoot it! Oh, here he goes. Get it again. He's going to his KD bag. <laughs> the Raptors are sending somebody right now. 
to the locker room to get their fruit oh, back to back. No, <laughs> they couldn't no, score three on one. No, they had a three on one. No, yeah. no, oh no, Jericho, what is no, this game? No. Oh no. It must end. Oh my god. Oh, this is brutal. This is brutal basketball. This reminds me of why I don't watch college. Listen. <sighs> <laughs> listen, listen. Like two years ago, Terrible product. When the NBA was on break, I was like placing wages on college basketball, so I would watch. And I was like, "Wow, why would I do this? No, like, why would I put product, real man. money <laughs> on these kids to to? Oh, it's so bad. It is so bad. Didn't Virginia score like fifteen points in a half? Again. Oh, yes, precious. Precious is attacking. Can't stop. Won't stop. One forty-five. There's still a chance. Foul. Not a good look for the G League. <laughs> Actually, do you guys know strategically it makes a lot of sense for the team that's up a lot of points in the fourth quarter to foul intentionally? Ooh, I like we'll that. talk about that at some point. I like that, XJ. Yeah. Does to Toronto, reduce the variance, you know? Toronto want to be part of this story? <laughs> I hope they not. ask Dark of that. How do you feel about being a part of the story tonight? Take us out, XJ, would you? I will take us out. The Knicks, the, your New York Knicks win this game 145 points. Yes, I said 145 points, 101. Blow out the Toronto Raptors in Toronto. Tremendous showing from basically everybody who saw time on the court. Uh, we saw the return of Mitchell Robinson, a really excellent 12 minutes from Mitch. We saw Boyan Bogdanovich start to get off and start to cook four or five from three, 18 points. We saw Deuce McBride, you know, potentially threaten the the all time Knicks three points in sh shots in a game record that DiVincenzo just said. He finishes nine of 14 from three, 29 points, a plus 40 in 40 minutes of play for Deuce McBride. Uh, who else? Precious Achua showed out against his former team, eight of 14, 13 rebounds, including seven offensive boards, and finished it with a ridiculous dunk. Um, great game for the Knicks. Awesome night for the Knicks and for Knicks fans as we see the, the Orlando Magic go down. We see the Cleveland Cavaliers go down. Knicks now take sole possession of third place. Uh, <laughs> just an awesome all-around night for the Knicks. We got Deuce McBride in the postgame. Any last words you guys want to say uh, before we throw it over to the postgame show and, and Jonathan Macri to try to tie this one up for us? Yeah, uh, I'll jump in really quick and I'll just say <laughs> I'll say two things. Knicks are in sole possession of the three seed. And for the first time this season, the New York Knicks are 15 games above 500. Be Ooh. very proud of your New York Knicks tonight. This has been a great game. Great um, great to see Mitchell Robinson back. And, guys, the best is yet to come because we aren't even healthy yet. So just looking forward to the rest of these games this season. 100%. Uh, yeah, nothing really to add. Thanks for a great time, guys. This was a great – this was awesome. Fun times. All right. Thanks, everybody, for joining us on Playback and YouTube. We will see you on the postgame show.